Been on you then, Will? Am I not in? Oh, I, sorry, I didn't click launch. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to the best of us. Great. Everybody be here then. So I guess I'll recap last time. Uh, where the party ended up getting picked up by the Great Eagle Moo and yeah. being sent into space by Meritrix's unknowing... Genius, I think, is the word, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He rolled exactly what you wanted to roll, to be fair, um, <laughs> and began to set off into space. You're welcome, and everyone. whilst all of this occurred, Barry, comma, 63... Decided to take matter into his own hands and try and strive for ultimate power and glory mm. by killing Oba. At which point he was summarily defeated in a mighty 1v1. With no assistance for either side, of course. By Fenrir. Get wrecked! Knocked, <laughs> knocked you out, Barry. Uh, at which point Meritrix then, you know, RIP'd you big time, chopped your head off, and kicked your body into the abyss. Or maybe not. <laughs> not entirely sure. And then proceeded to jump off the battle bus uh, back towards Ginka. So we return to the party on the battle bus, slowly drifting off uh, into space. I think I might have accidentally deleted everyone's character off this. No, you guys are there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so this. There, there's just four of you, because obviously Matrix yeah. has jumped off, and uh, Barry's corpse is right there. Rip. Ain't that a ripper? I think who you dragged his corpse to the the floor below us? Yeah. I think that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, I'll do with that. I can, Will. Say it again. Do something unspeakable with it. <laughs> uh, I would believe it. Well, I shouldn't speak those mouthful, so... Uh, and as the party continues to drift, uh, they notice a small, almost tear, uh, appearing next to them. I don't look good. Oh. Oh. And in fact, what? I don't have a tear. There's a, there's a, a, a tear in reality, by the looks of it. Oh, damn. Are we uh, rested? Because I th feel like Fenric was basically dead. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Okay. Full heal. Everyone yeah, is good. Yeah, bro, I was stabbed to shit. <laughs> it was a mad thing. Yeah, you almost died. <laughs> yeah, the party's had a chance to recover. Uh, rested. They've gone after a nice good night's sleep. They've come back on top of the battle bus, because that's the same place to be. Uh, and <laughs> as they look around, yeah, they see a tear appear in space and time. Uh, and out of that pops one more sure Zervan, who the party does not recognize. Barry, if you'd like to describe your character and all that good good. Oh, Zervan? Yeah. He is a, uh, a very small man. Like, what, 5'8", five, 5'9"? Five, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> no. He's pretty small. <laughs> no, okay. okay. Fuck you, Ron. Uh, <laughs> 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 nah, he's he's a little lad. He's like five one, five two. Um, he he's a short king. He's wearing a green little. Uh, oh God, we don't need another king thing. Uh, oh no, not that, not that kind. <laughs> small K, small K. Green green little bloke, uh, and mm. he's carrying a big bit of a clog. A nice little green coat. Uh, and he has no face. Oh, he's so horrified. Um, 
He has two little brass things where his eyes should be. Uh, and he's a little geek. So he <laughs> falls out the tear and goes, Oh my gosh, where have I ended up? He's so whimsical. Uh, on the bus. Uh, who, who are you? The, the bus to where? Uh, uh, not really going anywhere, are we? Really? We lost control Hello. over it a while ago. Well, it... Did oh, the bus God. run out of fuel? No, it's still going. Okay, it's just driving. Is it controllable? Yeah. <laughs> it is controllable, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we, we, we're we just kind of floating. Um, we could probably uh, <coughs> move this thing if we wanted. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, uh, my name is Servan, uh, and I'm a, a researcher of sorts uh, at the time, uh, and I seem to have ended up in a different space. So, um, hi. I think I recognize you. I'm not oh. sure where from. Who? Uh, two of you. Uh, I don't recognise the little one, and I don't recognise the big paladin. But I'm sure I've seen Obo before. I Didn't you have a big turtle with you? Big uh, angry turtle. Yeah, uh, that's a kind of a sore subject. Uh, what happened to him? Uh, died. Oh, he's he's terrible. gone now. But yeah, uh, maybe don't go below deck for a while, but. Uh... Oh, why not? Uh, well, it's, uh, um, he, he's kind of there, but he's not. He's not feeling is... him full self at the minute, shall we say? Uh... Is he dead? Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> he's he's oh. dead. Uh... <laughs> well, um, how do, okay. How, how did you see us? How do you see? How do you know Barry? Uh, well, um. So I tried a little spell to go back and see why, why and when Boron attacked the great city of the name, which I've forgotten. Oh. Um, oh. Bless and <laughs> and uh, I was hurtling through time and space, uh, and I think I ended up in a church just very briefly. Uh, and I could, I was looking down, and I could see you, tall old Mister, whoever you are, uh, the, the big lady, the the turtle, <laughs> uh, the one with a wizard's hat. I uh, yes, but I suppose he's not here. I'm wearing um, his hat. I'm wearing his dead. hat uh, in mem in memoriam. Uh, ah, okay, that's why I was a bit confused. Uh, there was a, a man in jorts. I, I well. re remember. That. Oh gosh. Well, he, <laughs> he's still well. He's still back there on the planet, but uh, we don't know where he went. And that little rogue one uh, also dead. Yeah. Just in case oh, you wondered. Presumably. Right. This is the place to be. Then is it? <laughs> well, well uh, if, if you don't value your life too much, then uh, absolutely. Edric covered in blood just <laughs> throws up a thumbs up. It's all good here, mate. <laughs> I'm a, oh yeah, I'm I'm Vincenzo, by the way, fellow student of the magical arts. Oh, nice to meet you. It's yeah. lovely to meet another. What are you, a wizard, a sorcerer? A wizard, certainly. Oh, fantastic. It would be nice to have some magical company wherever yeah. we're so going on this. Doing oh. some scrying on our plane or something? A uh, little bit more involved than that. Yeah. Uh, you, you've heard of astral projection? Yes, yes. Uh, well, I was trying to do chronological projection. Oh. Um, and it didn't go very well. Hmm. Uh, in fact, uh, it went so badly uh, that I was hurtling through time and space for what felt like eons, uh, and I had to be picked up out of my journey. Uh, by the mer by the mirrors, mirrors, what are they called? Um, Modrons. 
Metaference. There we are. That's the one. Um, oh. But I won't go into that much. Yes. You ever heard of... Uh... Uh, you have to help me out here, Tom. Would I have... <laughs> Is that something I would have heard of? Like, studying magic? Is it something of this... What is that? Would you be aware of the what would traditionally be called the different planes? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, so this is my, my equivalent of Modrons, so the plane of order. They are big metal bees. Oh, cool. Um, that is where Zervan has been. Cool. So they um, brought you here? <clears throat> uh, well, I they didn't say they were going to put me anywhere special, just that now they said they'd put me at the best place to begin, which uh, I suppose is here. Oh. So begin on a battle yes. bus. Odd. Apparently so. Oh. Well, we've uh, yeah. got through a bit of a shit time. Um, we were t trying to fight the uh, great spirits and the uh, apostates of the great spirits. Uh, well, I don't know. I think they're. I don't. Know. Whatever. Whoever they are, assholes. And uh, yeah, we. Yeah, this occurred. And we've lost several of our party. So I mean, right. I guess you're here. So I, I guess we're traveling together. I suppose. Servan. Oh yes. Are you from the future. Um, define the future. Well, what? When was it when you started your journey? And was it, it after now? No, it was the current year. Current year, cool. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. In which plane? So you came from a different plane, though. No, no, no. I I just came from Dank Morbog. Oh shit! We were going to go there. Yep. We don't, never got around to it. Uh, a bit smelly, but quite fun. Yeah. Uh, no, I just came from there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was the current year. Uh, um... <laughs> Have you heard you of know... the town of Bow? Oh, you, were, you uh... saw it briefly, didn't you? Yes, it ain't there anymore. So yes, rendered yeah. town of Bow, rend by Borrand. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, well. you, know, you didn't travel all that far, as after all. Uh, no, uh, just back in time a bit for a short amount of time, mm. I think, uh, and now I'm here. Well, you're welcome to join us on our uh, journey into a. Uh... Nowhere, uh, by the looks of it. Mm, if that's um, something you want to do, I mean, we could try and turn this thing sure. around. But uh, can we still see Ginko? You can. It's just behind you, gently fading away, getting smaller and smaller. Uh, How fast can, are we going? You can see the. Uh, I, I mean, faster than a walking snail, um, at least. <laughs> we just. Ask. I would. I'd quite like to go back to Ginkgo if possible. Okay, right. um, uh, I can try and figure out the controls of this this piece of shit. I guess. Right, let's give it a go then. Right, and there's so you all to the thing. Head below decks. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is that yeah, I forgot. Blood <laughs> soaking the floors. <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot about goblin genocide. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How could you How forget? You forget? Yeah. Please I... don't mention it. <laughs> shoveling them in like it's a fucking um, like shoveling coal into a bloody yeah, steam th engine. Thank fuck, my tricks took that away. Is all I'm gonna say. <clears throat> I mean, the, the blood of our sins will never be washed from our hands. <laughs> if it's any consolation, <laughs> so you is carefully extracting uh, about. Two to three hundred goblins from the shell of Barry, I imagine. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I forgot how many stuffed in there. Yeah. <laughs> See. Okay. Um, yes, as the party tries to explain away the multiple, multiple dead goblins being pulled out of Barry's shell by small who are you, uh, Obo, you hear a voice calling to you as you are the last one descending. Do you want me? Yeah. It's just uh, your name, Obo. Obo. Oh, what's that, Giza? Hello? It calls to you from seemingly the back of the bus. Right. 
Am I still on top? You are still on top. Everyone else is below decks. It is just you up, up there now. Right. Oh, I'm going to walk over. Hello? Hobo. Shit. Who's there? Shit. My name is not important. Right. But I have a question for you. Go on, sir. What is it you want? What is it I want? Yes. Well. I've observed the last few days. Not been the best of time for you. you see all, I have, all I ever wanted was uh, revenge, sir. Hmm. How do you intend to go about doing that? Well, I was going to kill that, uh, that big worm. All right. Yes. Yes. So you need more power. Well, not being very successful so far, to be honest with you. You are getting there, I would say. You're on the right track, but I can offer you uh, a shortcut on your journey. Right. I can help you adapt to any situation in your way to overcome anything and everything to help you become powerful enough to defeat Borand. And how is that? Hmm. You need to simply accept my power. And I will what? guide you to greater power. And what do you want of me? There are six items I require. They will help you become more and more powerful. When you find all six, I need you to take them. To bow. To bow? Yes. And once you are there, all will become clear. And that's all you need of me? Yes. The items will enhance you, empower you. And in retrieving them, you shall gain even more power. And then you shall bring them to bow. And this will help me complete my journey. Absolutely. At the end of this, Borund will be dead. I can promise you that. What will happen to me? That is up to you. What do you want to happen? Well... After Boren's dead, I, I'm not sure. Didn't really have a game plan for that, to be honest. Well, with the power you will achieve, anything is possible. You could leave Kinko behind. Travel the stars. Mm-hmm. Travel in time. Anything, really. But first, you must get there. What say you, Wilbo? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, close your eyes. Uh, you close. I, do you close your eyes? <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. I, what did that? Was close my eyes in real life. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I was about to call it out before you. <laughs> You're just incredible at what you do, honestly. <laughs> That is beautiful. Uh, um, And as you (laughs) close your eyes, uh, the coldness of space fades away. And you feel a a warmth embrace you. Wrap around you. Hold you tight. Um, You are now cocooned. (laughs) In a cocoon. On top of the bus. Um... It will take a little bit of time for the changes to happen. 
whilst I desperately go through our chat and find the picture. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the rest of the party, yeah, but Zervan, you've just gone downstairs and you've just seen an absolute fucking, like, slaughterhouse. It's, it's horrifying. Uh, I am rendered speechless. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Zervan is, rather. Uh, so I've been um, uh, He doesn't quite know what to do. Uh, so, um... What on earth is all this? Where did all these goblin bodies come from? This is horrific. Is this why everyone dies who travels with you? This was not my idea. Well, whose was it? I don't remember, to be honest, but Meritrix, the one that's gone? Uh Okay. They had a staff that summoned goblins. This thing is fueled by magic. They figured that you could just throw a magical summoned goblin in there and it would, it would fuel it. It did, oh. to some small degree, but it was very inefficient and disgusting. That's quite ingenious and, yes, utterly depraved and disgusting. Yeah, um, I, I, I had no part in it. Right, good to know. <laughs> Uh, Zervan just it's quickly writes something magic. down in his little diary. Is there a magical ring in there? Copy, actually. Still actually have one. Huh. Right, and then as this is going on, I'll go back to Elbow in the cocoon. As you feel um, the warmth and the tightness continue to engulf you, you hear the voice again. Ahead of you, Obo lies a great metal bagel. Oh. Putting this in terms you can understand. At the centre of this bagel is the first item I need you to find. It is similar to your death stick, I think you call it. But uh, greatly more powerful. Can I talk or am I still in cuckoo? You can talk yourself. No one will be able to hear you, but yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can talk to the voice in your head, absolutely. <laughs> where, where, Where's this bagel? I will tell you exactly what to do in the cockpit of this ship you are flying. Right. And I will direct you towards this bagel. It I is I can do that. not hard to miss. Yes, of course. <laughs> when you awaken, you shall have new abilities. And as part of this, I shall give you the knowledge of controlling this ship. Uh, and he goes silent. Well, oh. it goes silent, rather. <laughs> You are still in the cocoon, but you can feel it beginning to cool down and it's gripping you not quite as tightly anymore. Mm -hmm. Can I uh, kind of claw my way out of it? Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. You uh, explode like a butterfly. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I'm beautiful. Work. That didn't work. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, I've just seen two Ford Mustangs drive down the, down the road in five minutes. Huh. So, must be having a party. Oh, where are you coming around here? <laughs> this country. Sorry. Mm. Oh, I'm gone. There I am. Obo 2. Obo 2, electric boogaloo. Looking uh, ever so slightly different, and you can feel a new power. A whole new class of power coursing through oh. you. Different. different. Uh, she has power now. Cut you off there. <laughs> <laughs> she gone super and, yeah. and then the voice comes back and goes, "Oh, by the way, I've been um, shielding you from the desolation and void of space, but you are soon leaving my influence. So I'd recommend going downstairs and staying inside for a while." He's a liar. Everyone knows <laughs> that they're in space. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I'm fucking wrecked on in that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Right, wonderful, yep. yeah. So, the mode from a cocoon. Mm hmm. That's so slightly different. Um, no one has seen me. No one has yet. seen me yet. No one has seen me, yeah. Ah, let's see. Yeah, the, it's very kind of small changes. My eyes glow a little bit differently, they've uh, changed colour. Um, And I've now got weird markings on my skin. Uh, and I think that was the two kind of physical changes. But yes. I'll be uh, kneeling at the controls. A different over. With my, I'll be kneeling at the controls with my back turned, sucking my teeth and, uh, you know, looking at it. Oh my god, we're back on the ground! Yeah, imagine this in space, I couldn't be asked for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the control? Yeah, I'm kind of fucking around with the controls trying to figure out how it works. Cool, so I'll just kind of walk through the bus. Yeah. I'll go downstairs. Like a dad trying to figure out how to fix something. I can walk to the control panel. Nah, and as you approach it, it all makes sense. It's, it's like riding a bike. Not that you ever learned, but you've also <laughs> never forgotten. Um, Everyone yeah. get out of the way. Oh, I like. Oh, Fucking hell, Obo. What happened to you? You've changed. <clears throat> You look oh, yeah. jazzier than before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw something up there. What did you see? It'll all come in time, Mr. Zervan. Oh, I do like time. <laughs> I like uh, ambiguous, ambiguous, mysterious <laughs> statements. Yeah. That was ambiguous and mysterious, and you do seem very confident. I wonder what you've been up to. Are you taking drugs? Some would say. Might well, be a, a similar experience. I hope they help you drive. I am not sure, yeah. Well, <laughs> they always have done before. <laughs> cool. yeah. I'm going to take control of the battle bus. That's illegal! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And you always look over and you see uh, Obo's hands flying at an incredible speed, pulling various knobs, levers, and twisting the wheel uh, as you literally do a, a drift in space. It's fucking beautiful. There's somehow <laughs> sparks flying up from the tires. It's, it's incredible. Wow. Uh, and you boost towards uh, something. You can't just see anything currently, but oh. you assume you're on your way. Everything seems right to you, Obo. We're and not then, going towards Ginkgo, Obo. You are <laughs> We're not. going the right way, Zervan. <laughs> we missed the truck. <laughs> We're aiming for the truck. Let's out of you, all... Ghost Ameritrix. Look, I'm all about being mysterious with your character, but uh, I want to go back to Ginkgo. <laughs> In time, Zervan. In time. Don't say time just because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> So, then, uh, I know I'm asking a lot for you to trust me because we've only just met, but <laughs> please. All right, fine, Obo. I trust you. No, of course, I don't fucking trust you. Oh, God. Zervan makes his makes his exit from the cabin. He can't. He can't. He can't drag you away. He's not. He's he's not confident. <laughs> no, I'll do that. <laughs> but he's very overwhelmed right now. He's seven foot tall and built like fucking brick shit elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, he's he's insane <laughs> shit. I think the best thing that could happen is um, Fenric, this massive uh, tattooed all over his body Goliath. Uh, with blood stains all over him, just goes and sits down next to him and puts a hand on his shoulder. <laughs> all right, little man. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where we're going, and Obo is just taking us away from Ginkgo, rather expertly, and definitely the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, I think whatever eldritch horror she saw up there was probably a driving instructor, because she's never done this well. <laughs> oh god, a driving instructor! Oh no, we're doomed, and I pat his shoulder a couple more times. <laughs> uh, I, I lean into the hug. I, I, I like, sort of pull him in, like, as a one-arm hug, just like, I oh, know, buddy, it's alright. Oh, God. 
It's all right. We like there's a DJ deck down here. I can put on um, ye oldie Venga Boys if you want. Oh, go on. I do love a bit of Venga Boys. Um, yeah, Fenric just starts fucking slamming out the jams on the DJ deck. Fuck it. Oh, God. It's incredible. Uh, it's, you've never heard this type of music before, and simultaneously you've clearly heard it before because you exactly asked for it. But Listen, it's great. old men make the best DJs. It's in I, his blood. That is true. <laughs> Right, and then uh, as this you know bit of time passes, and slowly in the vast void of space, a uh, a giant metal bagel begins to appear. Yeah, uh, you saw that coming. I know. God, it's crazy, right? Um, you can see as you approach this giant metal bagel, uh, there are various uh, detritus in general, just gently floating past you, occasionally bouncing off the hull. Um, you actually hit a body and it splats on the hull and you have to put the windscreen wipers on. It's not <laughs> ideal. Um, but you... Yeah, you you expertly pull them in over. What is this place? I'm hoping you should all be able to see the Battle Bus token. I can't see okay. shit, motherfucker. See, it's yeah. it a little bit to load. Okay. It's oh, it's in the dark, far left, my boys. God, are we heading into a butt? <clears throat> heading into a what, sorry? A, a butt? No, no. I mean, no, yeah. a, there is a hole in the bagel, so I guess the, technically you could enter the bagel hole. <clears throat> well, there's like two dead bodies nearby. Yeah, sure, my laptop is having a great time. I'm very immersed in this black screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh, really, really in space. Can someone uh, do like a, um, a uh, you know, like a voiceover for the hard of seeing? <laughs> Absolutely. The battle bus is surrounded by darkness. <laughs> there you go. That's about what I see anyway. That's apt. <laughs> yeah. I think I've got a POV shot because it's all just entirely black. Hey, would it be easier for someone to stream it on Discord? And you that would be fucking mint. I got it. Uh, Vagsy, not me, yeah, but... I mean, I'll, I'll do it, seeing as we're on Spoilers. the same internet, so we'll probably have the least oh, okay. lag. Yeah, was... Hopefully. Why don't you just go into Will's room? Yeah, you could just come in here, to be fair. <laughs> and next Bro, I can't be awesome, I'm comfortable. Both characters. Yeah, that's fair. I'm sat on sofa with the cat, I'm having a lovely time. Yeah, that's respectable. Obo, what is this place? It's the bagel. Why are we here? I'm here to find something. Okay. Okay, to elaborate? I don't know what just yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Okay. How do you... What's brought us here? Beyond the bus, obviously. <laughs> Um, well, um, he did. Whomst? <clears throat> I, I never caught his name, but... He said if I came here that he'd give me power. The power to kill Borond. Huh. I guess you accepted. I did. This could be a dangerous bargain. Is all I will say. Well, we're used to those, aren't we? Well, yes, but... <laughs> I'll trust you. If it, if it aids us in killing Borant. I reckon it will. Then I'm with you. All right. So yeah, I, I don't exactly know what you guys can see. You should be able to see a, a collection of debris and dead bodies scattered around this. Uh... Well, if you look at my feet, <clears> you can see yeah, exactly yeah, what can, we yeah, can that's see. Oh, actually, that's the show. <laughs> nice, that's kind of what I expected. Perfect. All right, so, yeah, you're all on the bus currently. You're looking out all these windows that are definitely, you know, rated to stand up to vacuum. Uh, and you can just see faint flashing red lights within this structure um, that illuminate 
high and low where they illuminate that there's a couple of bodies floating around and some green cylinders. You, you can see the corner of the room. And, you know, it's it's great. Exciting. Uh, we'll take us in, I guess. Absolutely. Am I going this way? Where you want, I guess. Okay, hang on. Let's pause, let's pause for a second. So, oh, the, right. battle bus, the battle bus cannot open okay. doors. Yeah, so <laughs> someone has opened that door. That should not be open. Okay. Ahead of you, you see three. Actually, you know, hang on. The battle bus has got lights. Let's put some lights on for the battle bus. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> oh! There you go. It's not directional because I can't be asked to fuck with it that much. But now the battle bus has got its headlights on. Sorry? What? I, I still can't see the end. Oh no, I can't. I'm, it's just I don't really like the description of the size of these bodies. Oh, both sides dead body. Fenric says dead, dead body. Dead body! Oh! <laughs> That's we, comforting. Do we like inserve size right dead here? body? Hey, Zervan hasn't even done anything. He's been here for 32 minutes. And then you can see a dead body that seems roughly the same size as him. It's crazy. Mm. Can we fish one of these bodies into the battle bus? How would you like to do that? Why? Because I want to see if it's actually me. I can make, probably like mage hand a rope to it, but we'd have to like open a door. <clears throat> Is uh, air? You don't Is know. Air? Uh, oh, you so you've driven in from space. You've gone past no doors or anything. Right. Can I have an intelligence check from Obo, please? <laughs> Could be a wisdom check. <laughs> no. Oh well. Uh, uh, I guess it would be wise to know. Yeah, sure. You can do wisdom. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, there is no air. You assume okay. there is no air. The, the thing that in your head did warn you about this as well. So it's probably not a good idea. <clears throat> right. Yeah. <clears throat> can we just like run into one and then push it in front of us <laughs> slowly, so it doesn't like you know splat. Uh, how good am I at controlling the battle bus? You're pretty good. However, you're trying to hit a dead body? Yeah. To do what? Well, what I would ideally want to do is kind of use the front the front stabby thing on the battle bus to kind of, like, lift the helmet off. The front stabby Ooh, thing. Oh, my I have it. <laughs> you... have, have Sorry, no, 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 no. let them get... try this. Please let yeah. them try this. <laughs> I'm so down with this. I'm so <laughs> down with this. Okay. I think I did Arcana as the way for Meritrix to control the bus, so <clears throat> yeah, give me an Arcana check, please, Obo. Okay. Nice. <laughs> A nine. Uh, yeah. So you gently drive the bus up towards the obo sized dead body. Uh, uh -huh. And then you proceed to poke the oboe side of said body in the head, and it begins to just gently rotate off into a distant corner of the room. Right, okay. Okay, if we can get within, like, was it 30 feet of one of these bodies, can I, like, mage hand open the helmet? helmet? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's try that. Which body would you like to do it to? Uh... I guess the oboe one, if the head's still intact. The oboe one, okay. Uh, yeah, so your mage hand appears. It goes up to the helmet. Uh, how do you try and get the helmet off? Uh, well, I feel around it, see if there's any catches. I can flip or anything like that. Or a visor I can roll up. Yeah, so yeah, there is a visor you can roll up. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Um, so you, you, you draw a tiny little lip on the visor of this helmet and you push it up. Uh, and inside of this oboe-sized dead body is an orc, oh boy. green of skin, uh, two small eyes. Uh, visibly not oboe though, so oh, dif a different body. Yeah, it's just a random orc. Can we take the Vincenzo yeah. one? You can. Uh, I'll do the you know. same. We'll open his body. He's got smouldering good looks. Yeah. You can see a a cigar. Not Vincenzo his... though. His lips, but yeah, but it's it's not Vincenzo still. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Um, a different elf. Huh? But they're all. Yeah. I guess I checked the 
check the cute who you want. Yeah, there's a, a weird parrot person inside that okay. one. Okay, these seem to be some kind of facsimiles of us, but they're not us. They're like alternate. Maybe they're alternate us, or maybe it's just a big coinky dink. Well, if they're not us, then I won't worry about it. I mean, we could try and if we get inside this place, we could try and drag them in with us. What? They're dead. If we could have a look, investigate, they might have like a note on them that says, hey, this is why we're here. Uh, that's open, opening your idea. Um, yeah. Right, I'll see. Can, can I t try and t blint a one on? Can I just stab one really hard? Oh, I, I, this one, I was going to ask. Mage has <clears throat> can lift up to 10 pounds. Are we in zero G? You are in zero Gs right now, yes. So can I just push one of the bodies along to the door? Yeah, you can, of course. Who, who you would also like to obtain these bodies with Mage Hand? Yeah. Yeah, I will assist. Alright, so we're going to gather up the dead bodies that are visibly your size. Do you want the other dead body as well? It's just there, oh. chilling. Yeah. Alright. So you form some kind of weird corpse pile <laughs> yeah, we're give next to the uh, door. Ginkgo burial. Yeah. Right. Can I open the door? Traditional ginkgo burial of running it over with a bus. <laughs> How do you try and open the door? Is there like a button that I can see or...? There is a giant green button ahead of you, yes. Can I wham into it with the bus? Absolutely. Uh, okay. And the door flashes green. And opens. Woo! Perfect. The bus was the key card. <laughs> the bus was the key card all along. Oh. Yeah, everyone's got control. Get all in there. Right? Right. Yeah, you may hand the dead bodies inside, and then uh, the door cycles close, and you can hear it. You now. It's been absolute silence previously. You can now hear uh, a hiss coming from beneath the bus. Ah, yeah, we're no longer in the vacuum of space then. Yes. So, at this I, point, I can drag out the bus if you want, boys. I'm going to do the classic, the uh, classic 1950s sci-fi thing of opening the door going, <gasps> Yep, air's good. It, it is. Open up the door first, yes. Yeah, open up the door, That's take a deep do. breath, and then go, Yep, breathable atmosphere. <laughs> Zervan, why is that your picture? <laughs> <laughs> Let's bury the sequel, right? That's not <laughs> happened. <laughs> well, I guess that's that's canon. <clears throat> Zervan, you look a bit different. Sorry, I can't quite get my balaclava on. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's cold in space. It's fine. Fucking <laughs> hell. Incredible. Um, <laughs> leave bodies. <laughs> yeah, let's, <laughs> let's have Shit a gander. Shit, Alzheimer. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Hey, Tom. Yes. Can I change my image? Yeah, absolutely. Is that a pain in the ass? No, it's fine. You can do it yourself if you just go on your character and edit your bio and info. Uh, I... Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, fire away. <laughs> okay, so the pie is inspecting the bodies, by sounds of it. Uh, yeah. Fuck's sake, Ruin. I'm going to change it. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Sake. <laughs> I don't know if it'll change until I refresh it though as a thing, so um <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, there's a collection of dead bodies ahead in front of you. They're wearing a weird white armor that you've never really seen before. And they seem totally encased. You can't see any of them their flesh apart from through the the visors you've opened. Uh, now that you're a fair bit closer, you can see that the bodies have like partially decayed, but only partially. Um, that's about it. Can I see if I can work out how how dead they are? How dead long they've been long dead for? 
Oh. <laughs> how dead long? Wow. How dead long have they been long for? <laughs> right, long. Stop laughing at Zervan and now you say that. Fuck me. Why she dying? <laughs> Get him out of here, Zervan. You're not chosen a new picture. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. <laughs> That is also a great picture. Well, really he's great just disconnected from the yeah. Skype call. That's the, he'll be back in a moment. <laughs> I'd like to uh, like take the uh, the white armor off the Vinny, Vincenzo. Thank God, I'm doing some of oh, here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, yeah. Can I decide? Can I like discover where, how they died, please? Specifically, the bird. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. You asked. Can I specifically well. interrupt yeah, yeah, yeah. Rianne? Yeah, well, I respect it. Okay, I'll push past Obo. Sorry. Uh, let me think of a good. What would be a good one? I guess just a straight investigation check for this, please. All right. Both of you, you both do it at the same time. I was, yeah, I was mostly joking. <laughs> Can I see how long they've been dead for, please? Yeah, yeah. That was to you as well. Please roll. Oh right, okay. <laughs> Eight. Fuck. What's my rolls today? Oh, who are you though? I I also got twenty three. It's a plus eight. Not bad. Not a nat 20, though, is it? No. It is a nat 20, though, yeah. Uh, so, you all inspect these various bodies. And just so you know, we'll just stream in your Twitch. Uh, your, your, your oh, yeah, fuck, yeah. I can't just. Oh, yeah, I fuck, can enjoy I your Twitter. Yeah, Twitter man, you're posting spoilers of, the, of your, your new character. No, no one's watching you it. Um, <laughs> you all gather around. You know, you remove the various body parts, body parts, uh, armor pieces, uh, and have a guess, Oba, how long you think they've been dead for, with an eight. Seven. Oba guesses seven. Uh, who are you and Vincenzo? You spit on this. Ha! Fool! It's clearly twelve. Twelve. So you'd say about twelve days, boys. Right. Okay. Stuff of the decom the decomposition. Can I stow the Vincenzo sized armor? Does it appear to be pierced in any way? It is fully intact, you can see. In 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 the cold vacuum of space, do mm -hmm. would twelve be longer? Would they be preserved? Are you asking yes. me if space affects whether twelve is bigger than seven? Do, no, no, no. Do would 12 be bigger? If they, well, if they look like... Yeah. They would it days. slow down yeah. the decomposition process being so, in the cold vacuum of space, uh, and therefore it, it seems 12, but it's actually like 4. It would more be the lack of oxygen. <clears throat> the cold would also affect it, but it's the lack of oxygen as well. Oh. So they wouldn't... Yeah. So they would... Let's just say you died in a spacesuit. Whatever. Then, whatever else was left would be used by the bacteria, and then they would then die when that's all gone. So it would yeah. be that much decomposition. So you'd say they've been dead for about 12 days. Um, oh, shit, the suit's going to stink. Um, <laughs> yep. Can I clean the inside of it? Uh, you can attempt. Uh, sure. Maybe just leave the dead that? body suit. Well, hey, hey, this, this <laughs> should come in handy, you know? Hostile like that. I'm just going to shove it on the bus. I think. Can we please not put more corpses on the bus? <laughs> We're not putting corpses. I'm pulling the pirate on the bus. Taking the suit, it might be useful. On okay, bus. just please don't break the body. Sure. Bring everything. Actually, that's quite a smart idea. I think we'll do the same. Do what? <clears throat> the suit. You can, can we have and, a gander? Undress a body and uh, keep the suit. Yeah, it's actually not a bad idea thinking about it. Yeah, um, I'll take the body for you, don't worry. No, no. Nah, this one's perfect. Thank you. Honest, anything for you, Sober. You know, now we've stripped the bodies, we can give them, you know, the burial they always wanted and space them. Shove them out into the airlock. <laughs> nah, just leave them. We, I'm we so glad you're here. In the end. I'm thinking. <laughs> what? Nothing. Change your mind. We're not putting them in the engine. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> can we have a look at just the dead body? And see if it had bears resemblance to anyone. Yep. Yeah, you rip it open, and this body looks. 
like a, a weird little goblin. Mm. Gather. Uh, yeah, but it's got a monocle and a top. Well, not got a top hat because it's in a space suit. But it's got a monocle and it's got a nice, <laughs> nice fucky little mustache as well. Mm, okay. Uh, Debated will for a second, God. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you've not really seen a goblin like this before, though. It looks distinctly cultured. Uh, uh, it's got the trappings of civilization, mm. rather than the usual, um, you know, gutter trash you're used to. That's probably the only notable thing about this body, though. Right. So we don't know this geezer. Uh, it's not someone you've met before, no. Right. Well, on we go then, I guess. Sure. Can I look oh. for... Yeah, just quickly... Like Fenric one. Huh? Fenric size, right? mm. Yeah, I want to check myself out. Uh, it's a half giant, but visibly it's the other half this giant. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Bottom half, of course. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has what I always wished of. <laughs> Perhaps, yeah, it's, it's truly impressive. Prodigious, some would say. Member. Uh, go on, Jim. Sorry? What? Oh, I was going to check if there was any, like, a driving license or something on, on them so we can check who yeah. they were. Do they got any loot? Oh, as you, I guess you're looking in particular for a driving license. Uh, you actually do see there are some what well, looks to be letters engraved onto each of these suits, but you can't you can't read. You don't recognize the letters. You can't read it. It's not a language you would recognize. Unless what, what languages do you speak? I guess everyone. Uh, dwarvish, elvish, undercommon, goblin. Uh, Abyssal, Celestial, Common, Druidic, and Orc. Uh, nope. Dwarvish, Celestial, Primordial. <laughs> oh. Seven can read it. Uh, common, Yay. Giant, and Goblin. Oh, hand me that. That looks like X language that the DM said. Primordial. <laughs> oh, hand me that. That looks like Primordial. Hmm. What's it say, Giza? Do I have to roll for reading? And serve and read? Uh, yes, very well. Then you're fine. Most days. <laughs> Is today one of those days? Every one well, in 20 yes. days he has dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sometimes fives look like twosies, but it's not sure. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you take a look at the dead bodies. Uh, the Zervan sized dead body. You uh, glance over at it. And what do you see? What name? You can read it, right? So. It says. Navros? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. It says Alf Profit Laufen. Oh, I didn't see it. Message. Yes. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Zevin can read, but Rowan can't. <laughs> That's canon. <laughs> yeah, this one says, uh, you know, Maximilian Thoroughbred. This one says Maximilian Thoroughbred. <laughs> yep. Well, he's thoroughly dead now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they just. Random names. Well, uh, yeah, is Maximilian Thoroughbred? No. Okay. What's the one on Obose? Obose body. Van Dingleblok. <laughs> That's canon. Ooh, ooh, I want to know my space name. <laughs> uh, Brian. Oh, I love that name. <laughs> Is Rowan coming up with these, or are you sending them to him? Are you not making him come up with them? <laughs> <laughs> That's he gets to be able to fucking read. <laughs> fantastic. Always want to be called Brian. Nice. <laughs> right, so there's no secret code or anything. Just Any uh... more names you want reading out? No? Uh, uh, who, who are you? <laughs> ah, who are you? Yes. Uh, yours says... Um, I think I think that might be 
it says nice man <laughs> nothing nothing yet yeah, it definitely says nice man not a nasty word that i wouldn't say to a child <laughs> Can I walk up to Zervan and kind of whisper in his ear and be like, what, what's it? What's it actually say? It's cunt fucker. Oh, oh my God. That's that's a bit harsh, isn't it? It's a bit strong. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, he wasn't very popular, I guess, with his no, mum. I wasn't really sure what that word was in Primordial, but uh, now oh. I know how to write it. Well, that you learn something new every day, I guess. Yep, um, hopefully I'll forget it soon too. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I gesture to my my staff and just be like, well, I can help you with that, and like go to like Ooh. playfully bonk him over the head. Absolutely. I'm not actually going to bonk him. I'm just... <laughs> I, I, I dug reflexively. Oh, oh it's, <laughs> sorry about that, geez. It's just a little orc joke. I uh... right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> No, no, that's fine. Uh, just don't like being unexpectedly touched. Uh, oh no, I didn't actually bonk you. I just uh, pretended to. Uh... Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, I know. Uh... I think it's hard. Thank, like thanks, so much. <laughs> <laughs> ah, beautiful. Yeah, so the shithousery is continued. You've stripped these dead bodies of their, uh, you know, spacesuits. And chucked it on. Visible. Um, give me a medicine check. Uh, sure. I should probably have good medicine. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm lost on the map. Plus so, one, yeah. five now. No. They look in perfect health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look alive to me. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh. Alright, fuck this. Geezer. Oh Let's no, I've this. opened the lock. Ah! A fucking airlock. <laughs> 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 right, should we uh, should we forge on? Should we put shall we um, put these suits on? I know it didn't really look like it helped these dead people, but uh we may as well give it a go, right? It can't hurt. I mean, we we can't see why they've died, only well, that they're dead. And the it only might thing not, that... you know, it might not be the suits that killed them. It might be that there were, you know, I don't know. Maybe their crewmates didn't like the look of them, and they threw them out the airlock. Oh, they were sus. Yeah, I think they might have been acting oh. suspiciously. <laughs> nice. We should put them on. They are kind of imposter versions of us. So. Oh, well, <laughs> Mugus. Oh, well, I'll look into my full in my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll put my little my little um base armor on. Oh god, it's time to make some mugs each other. Oh, wow. you just been on the battle bus, so it would be yet another video game I've stolen from. Right? <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna god. have to close down and roll twenty and load up fucking <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> that would be so good. <laughs> An in-game, in-character fucking Among Us session. Wait, what was that? What was that? <laughs> no, that was banging. Whoever the imposter is, you have to stick oh, with that yeah. in the law forever. Like, what was that? Like Bro, that was great. Space something man. Spaceman. Yeah, something Spaceman. Space Unfortunately, man. that was such a good fucking game. Awesome. Um, um, I'll grudgingly remove my... Remove, uh, fuck, what was his name? Piz's hat. <laughs> Piz? And uh, I will put the spacesuit on. Respectable. I'll put, the, uh, I'll put the cloak on over it, though. My acid cloak. Mm. Got a triple drown. That is currently acid, yeah. yeah. All right, Pie suited and booted. Yeah. All right. I walk over here and can I open this door? Yeah. So Oba presses the button, uh, mm. and then you hear a noise coming from above you. Uh, Zivan, you would hear warning. Vacuum detected. Warning. Vacuum detected. Uh, guys, I am really glad we've all got our suits on. Uh, is everything sealed up nicely? Yep. Yeah. Held on to gear, uh, because stuff. it's been a while since I've heard Confirm. that word, uh, and it definitely says vacuum detected, which I don't think is a good thing. Is it in Primordial? This is in Primordial, so oh, 
Yep. The rest of you can just hear noise. Yeah, repetitive noise, but noise. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, I guess we'll check each other's suits, make sure they appear to be correct. Tap, tap, tap. Uh, Oboe's, you know, luckily, despite you ramming a battle bus into it, didn't break. It was now being rammed into the door as well, apparently. <laughs> Uh, just, just oh. trying to work out what the lighting oh. situation was. We could just. Uh, you guys should have thirty feet of light around you as well, yeah. I believe. Oh yes. Yeah. Um, I was debating not having that, but I think you'll make the map unusable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So the door opens, and oh, you feel a rush uh, as the air is dragged past you. So I need everyone to roll me a strength check, please. Shit. Change the roller. Uh, minus one. Saving or just straight strength? A strength saving throw. Strength saving. Advanced roller. Oh, what, what, why is that now advanced? Mine's a uh, 14. Oh. It's not yeah. really important what I got. Well, is that strength, strength saving? What is strength that? saving. Very uh, important to me. It's, uh, uh, 16, apparently, which is amazing. Nice. Amazing for me. That's beautiful. Oboe? <laughs> Three. A three, you say? Yep. That is what I say. Cool. Okay, anyone else? Sixteen. Perfectly fine. Fenric. <laughs> what am I doing? Sorry. You. A strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. I imagine okay. you'll be fine. But... Hold on a moment. I'm doing it on my phone. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> So 24. Very good. Okay. Um, so you all brace and you feel the air whiz past you as silence <laughs> descends again. Um, but what you do notice is you do see Obo uh, go with the air and start <laughs> to tumble down the corridor uh, uncontrollably. Can I try and um, like grab her and then grab onto something? Uh, I think due to the positioning... You were a fair bit behind Obo. Uh, so they are... You know, they are down that corridor currently and are continuing to float away. Are we in zero-G still, or does this place have magical gravity? You are in zero-G still. Could this I is why Obo is floating away. I have grabbed a <clears throat> mage hand. Absolutely. Okay, let's try that. Uh, it's cantrip, isn't it? So let's... Yeah. It's, ten, <laughs> it's ten pounds, so if you think that the, the yeah, speed. I think yeah, that's perfectly fine then. If, well, if I was moving and I can, but you know, physics. I think it's ten pounds repeatedly over a long period of time. Uh, Obo, you gently, slowly, let's say about a uh, hundred feet down this corridor, you come to a halt as the hand continues to slow you down. And, and then, like uh, when Stacy, it breaks my neck instantly. <laughs> <Hell> <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Lobo is dead. All right, <laughs> Roll a new character immediately. Yeah, right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you feel as you are pushed back down to the floor, you feel your feet clunk, clunk, uh, oh, stick shit. to the floor. My boots. What I will say, boys, is apart from the clunk clunk of your guys' feet, individually you can hear nothing. Mm. It is silent. So I'd like you boys to describe what you're doing because I will, talking is Keskuse impossible right now. I will clunk my faceplate against Fenrix. And oh, say, noise returns. And say, Obo's going off down there. We should follow her. Grab the rest of him. Oh shit! All right, how do we? Uh, do we? Do I just let go and move? I guess so. Um, I'll stomp. Have I seen Obo stomp on the floor? Or have all? Of yeah. So you you all. You all notice when you put these on that your feet kind of like felt a little bit stickier to the floor, but you didn't think much of it. Looks like our boots, I'm still holding your head to mine, looks like our boots will keep us on the floor. But this is the only way we can talk, I think. Alright, this is really, um, like unnerving. Because you're usually at the very far back of the party and now you're right up in my fucking stees. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just be grateful you can't smell me breath. I very much am. Uh, and I, I, Pull my legs up off the floor, and there's starfish float down the hallway. Who's slamming that door? Right, I'm gonna 
start. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I would. I would move push, my carriage if I could, but uh, last <laughs> push myself. I'll move you. It's fine. Thank you. I think I just float and push myself off the floor. Right. So yeah, but you look back and you see the party uh, clumsily walking towards you. Mm-hmm. I bounce off the walls. Man's doing flips and shit. Uh, it's absolutely silent, and then they approach you. Uh, we just all stood with our little foreheads together. Oh, <laughs> <a little Good. laughs> yeah, make one of those little fucking uh, rugby scrums. Get everyone <laughs> together. Will, how can you see this? What do you mean? I think it should be. Oh, it's battle bus vision. That's fine. Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, I can see everything. I'll, I'll I you. have a battle bus. <laughs> I guess we'll. If that was your next character, that would be incredible. <laughs> yeah, the battle bus <laughs> transforms. I guess I'll. He's playing a transformer Warforged. Let's go. Well, I'm giving you control of Fenric's character so you can see what they see. So, right. we're. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just point at one of these doors that I can see. Yeah. Yeah. Shake me about, William. And I'll, I'll, I'll open the door. Oh, door. Okay. You hear <laughs> I love another sound. rush of air. Oh, I'll frantically and... wave oh. into the door. Not quite as much air, but yeah, it's going past you. Frantically wave and then go inside. Uh, I'm going to drag people that don't seem to be. There we go. And I'll shut the door. Bonk. All right. When you can... Begin to hear sound again. Oh, right. So, uh, we guess we're looking for something. Obo seems to know what she's looking for. Big Nut! Big Nut! Big Nut no. <laughs> over oh, here! Boy. Oh boy, I've seen this one. Oh, I want to move over and see the Big Nut. Uh, go right ahead, Fenric. I'll be just behind you. <clears throat> alright, don't. Right, st- st- stick close to me, alright, matey. Oh fuck! That is a big nut. What is big nut? <laughs> How can a big nut help you? Uh, okay. Maybe don't touch that. That looks terrifyingly familiar, but I can't quite place where I've seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got a bad feeling about it. <laughs> I think we should keep well away. Maybe. I think it looks like a big tasty walnut. Let's crack it open. <laughs> no, no, you keep uh, it. It's you definitely not an asset from a different universe of any sort. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I uh, just quietly uh, start chanting levitate under my breath as I, as I see who you walk towards it. Levitate, levitate, levitate. You are, so it I'm, I'm, I'm not actually fair. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. But it would hold him still in the uh, in the air. Well, or that beam, I guess. I no, you're, would, you are in air right now, to be fair. I think it would yeah. just make terminal velocity 60... Uh, whatever. I'll, I'll, I can knock you. It looks levitate. like there's something around here, though. <laughs> don't, you, don't you think that... What if there's something back there? <clears throat> I mean, who are you? <laughs> can we, like, climb I, like, over uh, the crates here or something? <clears throat> Or is this floor would to any, ceiling? Floor would to anyone, ceiling. like, recognise what it is? Um, who are you? Stop fucking around back there. Um, we are in space. <laughs> let me think about this. Yeah, but a lot of you have got book learning. Yeah, you know what? Out of all of you boys, Obo and Vincenzo, you stand a chance of uh, recognising it. I, would, I was going to say... Let's do a a history check from you two, please. History. Okay. Yes. Um, Thirteen. Thirteen. Yep. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. You both feel like this reminds you of a of something you you've seen something very similar before. This is a much larger version of something that you 
Bless you. I have seen. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. You get flashbacks of what, what you didn't recognize at the time, but now you think about it, it seems like it was an alien creature. <laughs> and just me and Vincenzo. Uh, yeah, the rest of you got no fucking clue what's going on. Uh, I know that thing's bad news. So what have me and Vincenzo seen? Alien creature. Uh, A creature uh, that perhaps isn't canon. <laughs> or isn't, canon? isn't, you know, over the, whatever world D&D is meant to be in. Let's say it's homebrewed. Okay. One of uh, your homebrewed creatures. Oh. The boom rats, whatever. No. Uh, if, that's what, if that's what Vincenzo gets, that's what Vincenzo gets. No. I reckon it's something much. I think Rianne might know it, but I don't know if Obo would. Do we wait? Did we find the demons? I don't think you do. I don't think yeah, you guys rolled high what, enough. That's <laughs> what Rianne was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, but unfortunately, the characters of Vincenzo and Obo didn't quite get that. Okay, I've but, got, a, I've got, a, I've got an idea. Uh huh. Scorching ray. <laughs> Scorching ray into the nut. Yeah. You're just going to blap it. I'm going to burn it. Alright. I do. I t- I'm supposed to roll to Should hit. Should we not do this a bit more sneaky breaky like Jesus? Uh, why? I don't know what else is hiding I, around. I'm prepared yes. to cast it. I'm like pointing at it like, uh, what are you saying? Just avoid it? Well, if that's some kind of egg. Then I fucking love eating eggs. We'll have laid it. <laughs> Alright, fuck it, let's let's keep going. <laughs> let's just pretend they never saw it. Oh, yeah. I, I go up to the egg. Every sci-fi horror like... thing you've ever seen, that always goes well. Oh, God. Oh, I wanna go up I wanna go up to the egg. I go back to the I used to look pause. Oh god. And Fenric's pausing there. I well. don't want to touch it. I just want to get real close. I want to see if I can see any movement. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. Uh, as Fenric gets that close to the egg, um, or what you think is an egg or a nut, it unfurls. <laughs> and this creature appears. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, oh. you know, it's bizarre how it used to look like that nut egg thing. Um, but. Since you've got close to it, it has felt the vibrations from your feet, and it has unfurled. No. Oh, uh, simultaneously, at the same time, the Vincenzo went around the corner and saw the actual one out and about, which is beautiful. That, um, that, that looks vaguely familiar. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that one do. <laughs> Name looks <laughs> vaguely familiar. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is. Uh, so, if you boys want to roll me initiative... We'll go oh, somewhere. I'd love to. Oh god, my character sheet is broken, by the way. So uh, that's a five. Can't do anything with it. Oh, it loaded. A... Also, it doesn't. It's not the right sheet. Uh... Yeah. Four. Hmm. Uh, drawing roll this. Well, you should see a thing there, lad. Hmm. Ooh. I do. Um. Yeah. Make up whatever the fuck you want, lad. <laughs> <laughs> It's not where I was going to have you coming out of, but also fuck doing combat with someone that's AFK. Oh, well, I'll try not mind. You don't mind? No, I don't mind. Seriously? I can see him. I'll oh, have my little... I uh, see him. I'd like to have my moment. All right, I can... Let me... Uh, do this. This is where you're going to be. Wait, what? 
uh, bottom right ish. Wait, what? You should, oh, hang on. You should, uh, I was zooming so far out, I may have fucked up here. No, it's fine. Now you should be able to see it. I just forgot that I um, had taken away your control of it again. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Yeah. But for now, you forget, you forget combat is my least favorite part, so I will happily watch other people. I will happily watch other people do it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair as fuck. Okay, let's get his initiatives. Uh, oh, that's awkward fucking. So Fenric got five. Zervan got six. Did I hear who are you? Nineteen at one point. Yeah. Obo seven. And Vincenzo? Four. Oh, oh my god, you boys have rolled like shit. Fuck okay, yeah, we have. Congratulations. Uh, they can't. <laughs> uh, let's do that one first. Should have burnt the fucking thing. You almost did. I saved the spell slot to use on this one. True. All right. Well, it would be you first. Who are you? Um, that's convenient that I've just accidentally clicked this then. Yes. Um, I cast Suggestion on it? Yep. There is air in here, isn't there? So it there can't... is, yeah. There is air. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Oh, it has to do a... Wisdom saving throw? Perfect. Add two to this, so a 19. Yeah, never mind. Cool. Um... I'll uh, do a sick grind on uh, this box nice. and, uh, and give Fenric inspiration. Uh, you attempt to do a sick grind, and it is very inspiring, but as your feet leave oh, yeah. the floor, you'd continue up into the ceiling. <laughs> oh, you are sick. now on the ceiling. Whoa. Oh, shit! Yo, upside down equals the ceiling. I've got freaking Tony Hawk Omega combo going on. Yeah. yeah, just do a kick flip that never ends. Just spinning exactly. and spinning and spinning and spinning. Hey, when I land, I'm gonna get so many points. Yep, I should have full control. There you go. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> cool. So, Fenrix inspired. Anything else? Nah. Cool. So, uh, the first creature. Dimoffling uh, reaches out to attack you, Fenric. Really distinct. Fuck yes. do it, mate. Does a ten <laughs> break your AC? Does it fuck? Nice. I just smack it in the head like a like a cat who's been misbehaving. Hey. Does a twenty-one break your AC? It sure does. Excellent. Uh, so it's 19 damage. Oh! Yep. Are you sure? Should I not be? <laughs> oh. <laughs> HP, right? So you can live. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Sure, that definitely didn't take a third of my HP. Ah, as they do, mate, as they do. Excellent. That's the end of that one, Stone. And the other one is going to run in a straight line towards you, Vincenzo. Alright. Uh, which means it will do its rushing attack. Does a 20. Make your AC. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, what the fuck are these last three rolls? These are rubbish. 
how that does. Seven damage to you. Oh. And it's going to attack again. Okay. <laughs> and that one. That misses. Uh, definitely one. misses. And a 18. That one is. Perfect. And that one will do 48 for. Oh, my lord. Jesus. 32 damage. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so you, uh, it, it's a bad time for you in there, Vincenzo, in that spacesuit. It has rendered multiple holes inside of it, unfortunately, for you. Yeah. And that's the end of its turn. Cool. Goes round two. That's not the right one. Uh, Opa. Hello. Yo, um, it is You've my just, turn, isn't it? Yeah, you just heard two hideous screeches from uh, each around each corner, effectively. Yeah. Um. Well, I can't hit that one, can I? Because they're all directly in the way of it. So everyone's directly in the way of everything. Uh -huh. Yep. What's my movement like? Thirty feet. If it's not directly blocked, you can probably, I would say, vault over it effectively. Okay. So, cool. if it's not a hard wall, you, you <clears throat> can't with it. Right. So I'll run around here to see what what what's going on. In. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, there's um, this weird fucking dog getting at me. Dog. Yeah, it's a fucked up looking dog. Right. Yeah, I'm not really liking the looks of that. Um. Oh god, can I actually fucking hit it with anything? I hope so. I'm just wondering with um Fenric being in the way and who are you being in the way? Can I uh, who are you on the roof currently, so not much in the way. Oh, can I just curve it around there like that then? Yeah yeah. Without hitting any of my homies. Fucking <laughs> curve shot, let's go. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh well then, I would like to cast Guiding Bolt. Oh! <clears throat> Voila. With something. A spell. God, multiclassing such a pain on the arse in fucking D&D Beyond. Hang on. Yep. Yeah, I could. <laughs> in whole custom class. <laughs> MGL. Does that work better? Uh... If you want to customize it, yeah, you have to. Mm. Even what did I say I was casting? Guiding Bolt, right? Guiding Bolt, yeah. So, I'll cast it. It's uh, 27th hit. That definitely hits. I don't know how... What do you mean 27 to hit? 27 to hit. To break its AC. Yep, that, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You, what the fuck are your bonuses? Well, it's, uh, my spell is, because I'm a uh, with, with a fucking druid, I get a plus seven to hit because it's by my wisdom modifier, which is 19. Yeah, fair. <clears throat> so I rolled a nat 20 and also got a seven. Oh, well, nat I'm 20, mate. That, so, yeah, That's what I was wondering. That's uh, double damage as well on the spell. Is it? Yeah, okay, nat 20, right? It's a crit, oh. so... That's, oh, yeah, kid. that's that's what I was like, but not a nat 20, but that high still, that's insane. Right, so I rolled 10d6, which is crazy, uh, 35 yep. damage, which ends up being 70 damage. Fucking hell. Okay, that's... Bubba's finally useful! Unhinged. <laughs> uh, so, you, yeah, please explain <laughs> to me what the fuck just happened to this poor creature. I can't wait yeah, for cool. damage numbers to be this high. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be afraid, boys. So I throw up my hand, and from it, a flash of light just bores into this fucking creature. Uh, and it kind of looks like it's burning, but with, like, really hot white light. Uh, and then it just goes and explodes into a little confetti. Yeah, you just one-shot it. 
Oh, 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 oh. Holy oh. fuck. <laughs> uh, wow. Fuck your difficult combo, Tom. Combo, combo. No, that was impressive. Please tell me that wasn't you know, a fucking combo. cantrip. No, that, that, that is a, a second level spell. Which okay, that's not too bad then. Okay, that, that's dead. Uh, anything else on your turn, Obo? Um, no. Ziff, I'd over to you. I am dead, by the uh, way. I'd assume so. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, You've seen Vincenzo basically just get fucking slammed into a wall and knocked out unconscious right in front of you. Um, fuck. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I would like to avoid Vincenzo doing more death saving throws, but if I just heal him and then the Demoth and the Demoth fucking slaps him, then down again, then it's kind of pointless. Uh, I cast uh, Tasha's Mind Whip on the uh, Demothling. Cool, I've known what that is. (laughs) Uh, I psychically lash out at a creature I can see within range. It has to make an intelligent saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 3d6 and can't take a reaction until the end of its next turn. Uh, 3d6. And then on its next turn, it has, oh. to cho- it has to choose whether it gets a move, an action, or a bonus action, and it only gets one. Okay, well, it roll on that one. <laughs> so, it definitely uh, failed. Uh, yeah, I did seven damage. Okay, and I would say this is equivalent to getting a crit from yours as well, mate, so feel free to roll again. Okay, cool. Uh, seven damage again. 14 damage, not bad. Uh, okay. Not bad at all. Sorry, I was grabbing a beer. What happened? Uh, it rolled on that one save against Zervan's spell so he, he also got an immediate crit on it but didn't quite explode it in one shot like Oba I just whipped it in the mind uh, and now it, can, now it can only do one of these three next turn yeah cool uh, uh, anything else? <laughs> oh move action um, oh, goodness. nice uh, no that's it uh, um, and it is gone. it's Fenric's turn Uh, are there any more boys around? Any of any of these weird fucking dogs? There's just the one next to Vincenzo and Zervan, which is about forty feet hmm. away from you, but it'd be more like about fifty feet of movement, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, then I'd like to go in the opposite direction and go check out this dead body. Perfect. Uh, we'll do that after the combat. Cool. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> and then Vincenzo's turn. Uh, one fail. Oof. Oof. Cool. Who are you? Background to you. Jim. Jim! He's moving it, I think. I don't even know. Do you to, like, know that there's fighting on the other end? Yeah, you, you heard Zervan uh, screech for help. Alright. One, two, six. Um. I don't know if I can see you past those boxes, mate. If you can see it, you can see it. You're on the, the ceiling currently, anyway, so. Oh, fair. Like. Um, I'll. Uh, I can pick you up, mate. Yeah, I'll. Uh, I'll heal in word on my dear Vincenzo. Oh. And uh, heal you for a spell save DC. Fuck. <laughs> this one, I'll maybe. <laughs> For description, please, please. 
<laughs> okay, it's under the name circle. Cool. Uh, please do this. 1d4 plus. There you go, mate. Healed you for... Um... Four. Thank you. You're welcome. Could you feel loads better, Vincenzo? Oh, I feel awake, next standing next to a terrifying alien monstrosity. <clears throat> yep. That's cool. Thanks. Right. Anything else? Who are you? Um, I'll give Zervan inspiration as well. Well, while while or while I healing word Vincenzo, I'll be doing flips. Um, hey. Beautiful. Uh, Okay, passing on to Dimothling then. It's going to attack you again, Vincenzo. This is one action, just a straight attack. 23. <laughs> okay. And then 22 damage. Okay. <laughs> Back down to well, death again. I want zero death, death throws, though. Yeah, true. Let's refresh your death throws. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Uh, that's all it's that's all it can do, right? So Oh well, over to you. Yep, cool. So I will um as a bonus action, mm -hmm. uh what I'll do is use my wild shape. Nice. And um basically the, the one of the new markings that's appeared on my skin, which is a like a an archer. Um lights up. Uh, and my body starts to shed dim light. Um, yes, and I'm now in starry form. Um, and then I will move to here. Beautiful. Um, can I shoot? I can't shoot spells over these crates, can I? Uh, you can, because there's. Can? Okay, cool. We're doing it in a 3D environment. You might okay. just like, yeah, <clears throat> vaulted at the ceiling or something. Okay, cool. Um, so with that, I can. Um, so I like put my left arm forward, which is one that has the, the arrow marking, um, and make a range spell attack, which is. What is that? A d20 plus seven. That's good. <laughs> Rolling against his AC, yeah? Yeah. Cool. The exclamation points in the wrong place. Yeah, I know. There you go. So, 7 plus 7, 14. Uh, what, what exactly are you casting? Uh, or anything like that. Range spell attack. Like, is there a spell? Or? It's, it's, so, it's part of the wild shape. It gives me an extra spell. Which is just hurling a luminous arrow. Ah, oh, cool. All right. So the uh, arrow uh, impacts the creature and bounces off its chitinous hide. Fuck. I was going to say carapace. Cool. Well, yeah. that is fine. Um, and that is a bonus action, so I can still cast another spell. Cool. Which is cool. Um, I think I can go. Oh, no, right. And this one's already been hit quite a lot, hasn't it? Mm hmm. So I'm going to hit it with Eldritch Blast. Or at least try to. Yep. And, and roll a six. So I'm not going to do that. Wouldn't that be <laughs> a nice. Wouldn't that be a, is that a um, 30? Yeah, it's still lower, though. So <clears throat> it's sparked <laughs> into a box. And, you know, <laughs> oh, 14 didn't hit, yeah. Sorry, I'm stupid. Happens, happens. Uh. uh then it would be Zervan your turn. Uh, I get I get real pissy and <laughs> uh, I cast Firebolt. Um, but instead of fire, it's just lots of tiny hot clocks. Ooh. Nice clocks, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so roll to hit. Does a 17 hit? It does. And 
I roll damage. Ho ho. Uh, and I will spend a sorcery slot to reroll one. So I rolled a three and a four. Uh, fuck are we? Um. Fuck off. <laughs> Incredible. Do I have to use that one? You don't have to, or you do. When I roll damage, it's in a meta magic option. Reroll up to three of the dice. You must use the new rolls, and you can use this option. Sounds like must to me. Fuck! Oh. All right, I do five damage. Five damage. Cool. It's not a happy creature. Take. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's already used its action before the end of my turn, right? So yes. can I can I try and drag uh, Vincenzo away from the? Uh... Yeah, of course. Yeah. Just like he's uh, he's particularly light right now as well in zero g. So. Oh yeah. Does and it is. Think... How far is my dragon distance then? Yeah, I'll say thirty feet. Hey, all right. I'll fucking I'll yeet him, yeet him back over there with me. Cheers, pal. Uh, Pardon me. Mutters under his breath. <coughs> all right, Fenric, your turn. Followed by Vincenzo. Uh, I guess you're still rifling through a dead body's pockets, right? Uh, yeah, I, I want to have a little look at this body. Maybe peek around the corner first, see if there's anything else lurking down there. Uh, you take a look. That is a open box, which uh, certainly draws your eye. Ooh, I'm going to go towards the box and have a little look. Excellent. And again, that'll be a, a post-combat thing right there. Perfect. Uh, and I'd also like to just do uh, lay on hands on myself. Um, yeah. and give myself 10 hit points back. Perfect. Perfecto. That is everything I want to do. Cheers very much. And Vincenzo, death saving through. Uh, I think it's oh. 10 or higher, right? Yeah, meets it, beats it. So, one save. Woo! Let me back round to who are you, followed by the demuffling. I hope. Yep, um... okay. Can I can I like try and grab Vincenzo and pull him back from Zerban as well? Like after Zerban's been doing that. Yeah, right. of course. Yeah, yeah, it's like a fucking you know, like a relay baton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, man, where do you want him? I will drag um, him. Just kind of like behind these boxes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then with my final inspiration, I shall inspire Obo. Oh, thank you. No worries. Obo is inspired. Right. Anything else? Nope. Perfect. Uh, the Demofling Enraged charges straight at you, Zerva, and you've been repeatedly hitting it. <laughs> yep. And you're all it can see right now. So. Yep. Uh, cheeky little... 17 I to hit. I use my reaction to cast shield. Perfect. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, which gives me an AC of 17. Fuck. <laughs> you, can use, you can use my inspiration. Oh, I could use inspiration. How yeah, that, sure. How, how would that affect You roll a dice. Roll it, a you D. Can use it for your AC, can't you? Yeah. Roll, roll a D8. And um, add it to your AC. And whatever well, you roll, yeah. it's good enough, right? Yeah, it literally doesn't matter uh, what you roll. Yeah, it's going to be good yeah. enough. But you yeah. have got insanely high AC for a second. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you you backflip over the Dimothling's head and you feel near invincible for a split second. <laughs> and then it all comes crashing back. Um, as it attacks you again. Cheat. Uh, oh, the... it, it is until the start of my next turn. Yeah. So that one doesn't hit either. Damn, that's that's strong as fuck then. Yeah. Mine doesn't Thank though. You. Mine is just that roll. Uh, oh, uh, in which case, uh, everything hits you after that. Why? 
Well, well I, I, these need to have plus sevens, to be clear. I just couldn't be asked to click the plus seven button. Oh, you little bitch. All right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's been plus seven on everything so far. So, um, I'm just lazy. <laughs> Got them. Okay. Um, the first one will hit. That's going to be... That one, 17. 12, 29 damage total. All right, I'm on minus five health. Perfect. Another dead squishy sorcerer boy or mage man. Ah, and then he gets his movement. So that was actually an action, the first thing that he did, not a movement. Oh, retreat. It <gasps> grabs Zervan and begins to drag him back towards where it came from. <laughs> Actually, I can't, I can't scream because I'm dead. No, the, the noise of your boots dragging against the floor sounds like Zervan screaming. It's bizarre. Oh, gosh. Obo, your turn. The creature is beginning oh, to drag Zervan away. No. Right, I go to here. Mm hmm. I say, stop, stop dragging that weird little man away. Oh god, I keep losing the map. It doesn't respond. Oh, yeah, the map's a bit fucky. Uh, and I will, because I'm still in my story form, I will try and hit it with that. Yep, bonus action. That is, yes, that is my bonus action. Perfect. Fire away. Oh, uh, which is. Which I can't roll, I did need me on for some reason. Very helpful. Oh, nice. Uh, and that's plus seven. <sighs> Not hit, I'm afraid. Fuck. But you really just like one one bomb that <clears> first <throat> monster in is like nothing since. It's yeah, great. yeah, in it. But that like, is only my bonus action, so I'll we'll not worry too much about it. True. Um, true. <sighs> what else have I got? Oh yeah. Oh god. Tell you, mate. What else have I got? What else? Uh, I guess I'll just go this again. Uh, just a 13 hit? Nope. Fucking hell. Right, that's everything I can do done then. I'm lucky. So I walk over there to observe and I flail about a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... Paul Zervan, he's unconscious, but he knows he's just been failed. <laughs> uh, it goes back round to Zervan now. Right. Yeah, you uh, are unconscious, so... How do I roll the old death saving? Just a D20. D20. Um, just a straight D20. Just a straight D20. No uh, That's a fail. That is a Oof. fail. It's one of three. Uh, appropriate, really. I've been dragged away, so. All right. Um, it would go back round to Fenric. Um, uh, can I hear any of the um, shit that's going on? Because yeah. all I've seen is Obo <laughs> killed this thing in one hit, and I went, oh, these guys are weak, that's fine, and I've wandered off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can now hear. Um, I would describe it as general panic. Um. Good. On the other end of this room, uh, you can hear like, "Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh oh oh, oh my god!" Things like that. A general Whoa. panic. Mm. Uh, then I would like to use my full movement of thirty feet to get as far as I can. Yep. <sighs> okay. If someone could move me, thank you. Um, and then I would like to. Uh, what was Vincenzo looking like? Is he uh, visibly unconscious, uh, leaned against the wall? Okay, then I will. Uh, is, is dash an action or a bonus action? action. Dash is an action. Uh, we, uh, I can't die in one turn. Just OOC. Um, 
<laughs> you kind of cool you gonna, killed you. Is, yeah. <laughs> uh, is Vincenzo going to be good? Because I might just run past him. Vincenzo will be, be good. He's I not even going to death saving I, I, can roll, I can roll two in one turn and, and I'll be fine. Okay, sick. Then I'm going to uh, dash and go another 30 feet. <clears throat> Takes you right, right up next to him. But you still got a bit of distance away. You can see the Dimothling dragging Zervan's body away currently. I can see it? Yep. How far away is it? Uh, 50 feet. Cool, I'm going to use a bonus action to cast Misty Step and teleport 30 feet to yep. where it is. It's 50 feet away, sorry. Yeah, so I want to get as Towards close to it as possible. Yeah. On this box. Um, yeah, that's perfect. And that's all I can do. That was my action and bonus action. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I've got any specials. It's within reaching distance, but also not quite. Yeah, no, that's everything I can do. All right. Vincenzo, your turn. Yeah. Eight. Uh, that's one death saving. Yep. Or one death. Alright, who are you? Back to you. Fucking... Okay, who's <laughs> fucking done? Vincenzo and Zervan. Zervan oh. is being dragged away by the creature. Alright, um... I'll, uh... I don't know. I'll use more... circles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know why it's called sickling. The sickle tickle. The sickle tickle. Nice. I'll throw more knives at people until I get out. Perfect. Um, like this is to Zervan. Yeah, 60 feet range. Cool. Yeah. Who didn't win it? Oh, is Zervan a construct? Bro. Uh, no, Zervan is not. <laughs> Had to make sure. Uh, heal you for eight. No, seven. Seven. Woo. I'm alive. <laughs> Seven wounds. Cool. Anything else? Who are you? Nope. Or cool. used fucking everything. So. Yep. Uh... All right. Well, it's back around to the Dimothlings' turn again. <laughs> Perfectly oh, so. God. As with Ben. Uh, here you go. This is with the seven. Seventeen, Zerva. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three, Zerva. Yeah. <laughs> it continues to drag Zerva. <laughs> Zerva gets up for a brief second, and then immediately gets knocked back down to the ground and dragged away. Perfect. <clears throat> uh, you are now on top of event with the Demothling. Am I zero? Am I in death saving? You are. Go back to death saving. Those again. On your next okay. turn. Obo's got a turn. Obo, on your turn. turn. Okay. Yeah, on your next turn. Okay. How many bonus actions do I get per round? One. 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 I yeah. just have one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. One boner. Okay. Cool. Right. I'm gonna have to pull out the big gun here before it goes down the vent, aren't I? So I'll run over here. Mm -hmm. Um. Yet again, I will try and do my fucking archer bullshit. Yep. If it pings off its carapace. Can I add inspiration to that? Yes. Yes. What do I get? D8. A D8. You can choose to do it afterwards as well. So you can roll you to can... hit, then yeah. add. Well, I've you rolled hit and it's 13. So 13 add 5, 18. It is. <clears throat> Fan-fucking-tastic. You initially miss and it bounced off the box behind it, hitting it in the back of the head. And that does that does 9 damage. Cool. It's um, pissed and still alive. Real angry. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to use. Um, let's just go guiding bolt again. I fuck my a fucking <laughs> nine. I rolled a nine. It misses. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Anything else? Um, no. <laughs> Perfect. 
Do you have one death saving throw, please? Yep. 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 Hey. hey. One success. Next hey. one. Fenric, your turn. Uh, I am going to... Right, how far away is it's 25 now? feet. 25 feet. Cool, I'm going to use Misty Step again and teleport just five feet behind. There? Teleports behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal. Oh, you kid. Not me. Um, so. Yeah, I want to. In the direction that they're being dragged, I want to go behind that so I can, like, get in their way. Uh, um, they're on top of a vent currently. That's all you can really see. Surrounded Ooh. by crates, but they're on top of a vent, yeah. Then I would like to. Uh, try and. So I've used my bonus action for a missy step. I would like to try and uh, technically grapple Zervan to like put myself between him and the demuffling. Yeah, absolutely. Let's have a, a strength off, shall we? So you can grab this body Perfect. the best. Uh, straight strength. Straight strength. Let's go. That's a natural 20, bitch. Oh my lord. Ooh. It rolled. It rolled 24. <laughs> wow. 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 Don't fucking touch my new friend. Um, he's he's just about so five heroic. foot and I like him. <laughs> Benrick is so heroic. What a beast. What an absolute legend. All right, when it yeah, comes to saving someone else, he rolls fucking <laughs> hard, dude. When it comes to doing anything for his own favour, ones. <laughs> <sighs> It's when it comes, yeah, I, so. I like, I I wrap my arms around this little guy, and I just like, even though it's like a firm grip, it's a very gentle hand on your head. Like I've got you, man. And then I like roll in the opposite direction, so my back's to the, the muffling, so I can just shield Zervan like a fucking meat shield. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, heroically done. The muffling is pissed. That mm. right. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, so I'll Probably move uh, Zervan here, out of the way. A beautiful. Uh, anything else? Um. Well, I didn't technically use my movement, right? <laughs> you did not. Uh, I would like to. If I move, I'm going to be going out. Well, you, you. Attack. I mean, I moved you there. You said behind them. That could have been Zervan. You could have been like here and. Live on here and dragged him away. So I'm happy with you moving away from the creature. Fucking stick. Then I want to use my movement and uh, move around the corner behind Obo and put Zervan down very gently on the ground. Out of oh, the yeah. way. I'm still going to be crouching over him and making sure the thing doesn't come straight back. Yeah, perfect. Alright. Oh, you fool. Uh, Fucking lovely. Vincenzo, your turn. Ooh. Uh, pass. Yeah. Cool. Who are you? Your turn. Uh, who are you? Has one damaging spell. Um. So I'll. Uh, you know, I have a third. Uh. I've used two of them. I've used one of them. Vincenzo's still down, isn't he? Yep. yep. Okay, I'll pick you up with another sickle. You. Thank Ooh. you. Keep chopping bits off people until they get better. It, it's got to work at some point, right? Right. Uh, so, another seven. Hey, thanks. Back up you go. Okay, uh, anything else? No. Cool. Uh, the creature, upon sensing it has been overmatched, overpowered, generally beaten, is going to disappear inside the vent. 
So we can all leave initiative, and that ends the combat. Uh, but that, that creature is gone uh, into the vents. Cool. And you're all now free to go help Zervan and Vincenzo, probably, I would assume. Yeah, assume... while, I'm, while I'm holding on to Zervan, can I just inspect him and see how badly he's hurt? How are you feeling, little man? You are right. <laughs> We're absolutely fucked. Uh, I, I lay a, a gentle hand on his shoulder, um, and I just went, you did a really good job out there, man. And I do uh, lay on hands, and I give him uh, 20 hit points back. Damn. Beautiful. That is uh, 80% of my HP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give him a really... I, I give him that, like... The hand on the shoulder, dad squeeze. <laughs> Just a really gentle oh, squeeze on his shoulder. It's like, you do a really good job, man. Wow. I feel so much better. <laughs> I ruffle his hair a little bit. Under, like, the helmet. I just sort of <laughs> slap the helmet about and just went, you know what I'm trying to do right now, man. <laughs> You're incredible, Fenric. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not. But you know, I, I, you knew, and I'd feel bad if you kicked it so early. I've never met a paladin like you. The other ones have all been twats. Yeah, they're they're usually quite Excuse full me? of themselves. And, huh? <laughs> I'm stood right here. What? Well, you, well, you have you just paladin? been? Have you just oh, gone a fucking sorry. upgrade? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking you said about? The mate? rest of us were twats. Oh, no. No, we're, we're paladin... generalising my line of work. Yes, Sorry, but... I must have something in my ears. I'm just going to walk away. How, uh, how damaged is my suit? <laughs> uh, the suits are fine. The creature was battering you around. Okay, because I um, can use mending to repair a hole in it, I think. Oh, fuck it. In which case, uh, both suits were ruined, but mending can repair them both. Okay, because it, <laughs> it, it repairs existed. like one break or tear in an object, but... It's also a cantrip, so I kind of just yeah. spent ten minutes fixing my suit, I guess. Oh, but yeah, absolutely. So these these suits have been fucking bad and ripped, and it's a bad time. But Vincenzo <laughs> slowly mends them over the course of an hour or two. Well, I have a long cantrip take to it's cast, one, I guess. One minute cast, so. Yeah, five ten minutes and fuck it. Yeah. Ow. Are we uh, are we venting then? These things are fucking horrible. No. Well, Obo, you approach the vent, mm. and you realise that although the vent is in fact enormous, the tube underneath of it is significantly smaller than you would <sighs> think. Right. Uh, you think at a push you could put who are you down there. Um, Do it. But just who are you? Get here, little bird. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. How about we block it? Why? So it doesn't fucking come back out. Well, maybe that's what's playing in the air. Oh, yeah, shit, that is what vents are for. God damn it. <laughs> 20 int, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, you're not a 20 int man that lives in space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's more of a wisdom thing as well. Yeah, the intelligence yeah. doesn't count here. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> in space, no one can hear you think. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, so. Uh, I, is who are you being shoved into the vent? I think I think so. You oh, really? really uh, You're doing that? No, I think that's a really, really <laughs> terrible idea. That's like its natural environment, dog. That's that ain't good. Uh, but how are we going to get him out if he gets into trouble? Look, he wants to go down there. You're really going to send this, this is little the, boy this to his I, death. I'm not super comfortable he's sending my other son he's down a there. Fully grown man. This... I don't know why everyone thinks his kid's a little boy. This but he told me he was two years old. That's fucking why. <laughs> yeah, for a bird, he's like older than he should be. We're in. How... Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Who are you? How long? How long do you typically live for? You, your people. Um. Uh... T- uh, what one? And you're two. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's pushing the press piece of death anyway. <laughs> can I? Can I say? <laughs> I thought. I thought you were my son. We have uh, entered this place, and this is the first door we've been in. There are I four you doors in that I told you to bed and sang you lullabies. <laughs> there are four lights. 
Anyway, um, right, cool. Let's go down to another door. <laughs> just because I'm bad moves on, I thought he was two years old. Someone's son. <laughs> I thought you were like two. He's an old Was it not man. weird for you? No. All right. That's no, good. okay. Well. All right. Oh, well. Come on, Hugh, you. Let, let, let's go. He's got dad issues. <laughs> You're yeah. not going down the vent. Not Hubert, today. Who, who, Hubert, are you? Hello, <laughs> oh, Hobie. Hubert, is it? That's a lovely name. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a little? Anyone give me a little tickle? A bit. Uh... What? A little pickle. Hey, this is not the time or place to request such things, Ben. To be honest, okay. I, I don't have any more circles <laughs> for emergency. Okay. I could give um, you an aid. Uh, also, what? Aid. Aid. What's that do? Yes, a don't give people. him that. Okay. The HP. Oh. <clears throat> oh. I am feeling rather oh. um, delicate. All right. I, cast, I thought it occurs to me that we shouldn't go outside because we'll probably die. No, no, the, the thought is they're fine. It's just we need to go back to when Fenric ser searched for loot and then we can continue. Yeah, oh, I yeah, want to yeah, go back yeah. to that box. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll take it in the combat. Uh, you look down in your hands and you roll a 1d190. <laughs> a 1d190? Okay, yes. hold on. Have this we added more? This uh, is 189. I probably should say 189, but 190. There's no way you roll a 190. One If you want to roll a one ninety, you can have whatever the fuck you want. Name it. <laughs> Hundred sixteen. Uh, oh my god. What uh, did I get? <laughs> someone already that has Jesus is alive. Or? Someone already has this, so oh. you have a choice I wrote, here. I wrote a thing. I wrote a thing at the top. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, okay. Feel free to discard that. I, uh, I like it, but I'm going to discard it. All right, just roll again. That is fair. You've got a choice here. Either roll again, or you'll get the one down. The one uh, I'll take. I'll fucking as well. fully roll again. Send it. 1d 190, right? Yep. <laughs> 141. Welcome to the oh, one. That, that's fine. Okay. Uh, you'll know what this is. It is a... So you open the chest and you see what I'm sending you now. You will have Send it into before. my brain waves. There you go. You can choose um, whatever you want from oh! that. Oh! Yeah. Let's fucking go! I yeah. love these items! Hell yeah! yeah. So feel free to describe what you find. Oh fuck yes! Do I get any of them? What? Well, you take your pick. You've... Oh bitch! <laughs> oh bitch! I've on. had one before. Uh, you can, we can, yeah. To be whatever. Um. Cool. I'm gonna pocket it, and then if someone finds it on me later, then they do. But that's for me to know and them to find out. No one's yes. around me. True. Uh, no one was there to see you find it as well, so it's no, very I much just... it. Oh, Meritrix is dead. Long live Meritrix. <laughs> <laughs> a piece of her spirit lives on inside me. It is weird, yeah. Going through this table, all I can see is just green highlights on what Will has. It's incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, true. Yeah, probably un it's probably ungreened them. To be fair, green is Will. Green of course, well. it is. Oh, why is why am I green? I highlighted them all to see what people have. So Meritrix, why anything Meritrix had. A, a fucking random but colour to you're highlight just, things you're with. Just not seeing this table of like. Can I be red, please? Uh, no, no, that is Barry. Well, it's actually, pink to be fair, but. What am I? Why does anyone care? You're like a nice little <laughs> mint blue green Ooh, thing. Oh, thanks, bestie. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> does, does, does anyone else care what colour they are? Yeah, what colour? What colour am I? Uh, you had a nice little. There you go. Well, Jim's gonna send it. Oh, see, that's that's the thing, right? Because I'm not an absolute pagan. Oh, dude, I, I that's have... the colour of blue I thought Fenric would always be. I have this instead. Oh, oh I have that on my side. Oh, much uh, nicer. oh my yeah, god, I'm like a lavender? Yeah. That's because Fenric's yeah. fruity. Thank Indeed. you so much. <laughs> you have the only black text as well. Is you Everyone's LGBT because you're gum pink? <laughs> 
Yeah, dude, I can't believe you don't got a night mode on your fucking PC, dude. That's that's on hinge, lad. Mm, um, but anyway, yeah, please. Uh, then when I found something, I only closed the door so I could do that. Continue, boys. It's fine. Right. Uh, I'm not going first again. <laughs> I'll go first. I've got a mission, so there's so much garlic bread in my mouth. I- <laughs> <laughs> Sounds it, buddy. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just enjoy it. (laughs) Zervin, my my new very good friend. Did you mention something about aid? (laughs) Yes. Uh, I have already casted it on you. Uh, I just didn't tell you. Uh, Okay. So now you have uh, (laughs) your. Hit point maximum uh, is five, and your current hit points... Sorry, not not maximum is five. It's plus five, and your current HP is plus five for eight hours. Cool. Oh, that's, that's sweet. So I've got five temp HP, effectively. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm casting it at third level. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, yeah, fuck you. You get better, Edna. <laughs> you get something even better, you fucking bastard. I hope yeah. you have to eat you piece of fucking yeah, yeah. trash. Yeah, get so, healed, idiot. So it's, 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 it's 10 HP and plus 10 max. Uh, so okay. You, well, thank you're you. A decent bit, you're a good, decent bit tank, you know. Thank you. Um, that will help immensely. When, next time one of these creatures won't trust me. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, uh, I've got other protection spells, so don't worry about that one. Oh yeah, I got, I got shield too. It just would have done me no fucking good. Yeah, <laughs> I respect the balls of you casting it though. That was, that was, that was impressive. Thank you. Oh my god. Uh, so you boys have you know oh god, a bit back is and this forth. The cinema. And you walk into a cinema. Oh, <laughs> recognizably what it is. Let's go. <laughs> Um, and as you look over, the projector is still projecting, and on the screen ahead of you, um, if you want to share it, person that walked in first. Share it how? Put it in the D&D's notes. Okay. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> this is just the video I was watching when you told me to pick a video. Not watching, <laughs> but it had open. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think I can't. Yeah, I think <laughs> this is what's currently playing on the screen in so front of you. I mean, I assume you're all thoroughly good. Very confused. good video. It is very good video. It's four it's hours, four five minutes. hours long. Yeah, and and it's part one. <laughs> oh my! I'm gonna fucking walk through my watch list. Yeah. It's part. It's part, part one out of. It's part one out of a five part <laughs> video series. What? Yeah. Yeah, That's more material than the original show. Yeah, absolutely. Is it? I don't think it is. To be no, fair, it is. I, I've watched a critique it of uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens, which is, uh, I think, it's twenty hours, and that's only four, like five out of Jesus. six parts. Jesus. Okay. Why? Either way, I know it's bold for me <laughs> to be asking that question, but it breaks down every individual. I like iCarly. The TikTok generation and their personal attention span plan, it's really done something crazy to it. <laughs> Actually, true. It's either then five hour content or TikTok, second content. Yeah. Please. Five hour or one minute. Anything between now, nah, mate. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, anyway. As your fantasy characters in space <laughs> enter this cinema, you see I Bing Dai Carly playing on the screen. You're not I quite on these foul I magics bing, before me. I bing. I binged. I Come binged, on, mate. No, it's I binged. <laughs> it's my world. It's my world. <laughs> I binged. It sounds way more criminal when it's when you say I binged. <laughs> uh, Sivan, you actually understand what he's saying, so God bless. The rest of you just hear noise. I refuse to process it. <laughs> <laughs> It it's like uh, my ears. It, it's a fantasy world, so like uh, seeing like a giant moving picture image on a wall wouldn't even compute with me. You know, it's like when I, if you showed it to like a caveman, just don't understand <laughs> what's going on. 
beautiful. E. Carly? E. Coli. That's bad. <laughs> oh, it's thunder and lightning again. Is it fucking hell? Yippee. Oh, thank you for the warning. I'll close my window in I'll preparation. I'll open my blind. Thank you. Twenty minutes before <laughs> yeah, it starts raining. Open my blind as well. Wonderful. Uh, all right. That that room is a cinema. Cool. Can I reach out That's and it. touch the screen? You reach out and touch the screen. Um, can happen. There is all of a sudden, as you keep continuing walking towards the screen, an oboe-sized shadow, <clears> which gets ever so slightly larger the more you approach. Oh. You reach out, you touch the shadow. For a brief second, you think something will happen. The shadow touches you. It does not. You touch a wall. It's a smooth wall. Uh, and that's it. And then it continues. Cool. Second, do you think you can relate to somebody else through Oboe? Oh. Create a power controlling Oba. For a second, do you think you can reach out? No. This video does not link you. Get out of here. <laughs> it's like a five minute thing, but break. It's like an eldritch horror. Yeah. A five minute what break? Come break. Come break. Come break, yeah. I'll be able to go for longer if I have a come break now. Five minutes, really? Yeah, I need a five minute come break as well. Come break time, boys. Uh, need to work on we have made. Incredible progress through this map, by the way. Holy fucking shit. Have we? Two rooms so far. We've been in uh, and out. I honestly thought you'd get to Will's spot within about an hour. <clears throat> but hey. Inc uh, Juan Digo always fucking overperforms, what can I say? What do you mean, incredible bad? It's just. It, it's not bad or good. I, I mean, it just means that I'm not good at gauging <clears throat> the amount of time it would take you to walk down a corridor and uh -huh. open floor doors. <laughs> yep. I That's... see Will, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah. I hope we're doing a chance to, to come in for the, the Coombat. Yeah, but... that's fair. Oh no, I missed the most boring part of D&D. What a shame. Yeah, fucking true. Oh. Five minute power nap, I guess. Yeah, I mean, what we can break. do is whoever's fucking breaking can just be in the theater watching that shit while you boys go and explore. Because I'm not breaking. I'm gonna get insta killed by a, by a demothling. Uh, if you're not an idiot, you should. Yeah, Fenric's gonna fucking smack the first demothling in the face <laughs> <laughs> that he sees. Well, just fully uh, grabs it, throttles open it. Open this door. Open it. But it's so low. Mm, Fuck it. Don't know. What the hell said Lilrod? There's dead body. Think, but... Oh, fuck. <laughs> there's another dead body. <laughs> and there's a hag. There's hags. There's multiple hags. There's more of those eggs in there, boys. Whose dog is going mental? Uh, it's, it's outside, in the background. Of... It, it, it seems to be outside. He's barking a lot at night. I think they keep it's him outside. Me. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I got that dog in me. You heard him at she night? Oh, woo. 15 years since She Wolf was released, by the way. 15? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, mate? 50. Right, no. Yeah. Well, this, this room has 15. two dead bodies and two yeah, eggs. Yeah, 15 years. <laughs> This room has two dead bodies and two de two eggs in it. So... Oh, 14, sorry, but... Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, go on. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what are we laughing at? The dead bodies <laughs> attempted discussion then just yeah. sheeple 15, 14 years. <laughs> right, apologies for that. Go on. discussion, just... You know, no, we're not. No, don't go in that door. I'll bar the door, or something. Ben, Ben, you've locked me on the other side of it. Please, <laughs> we cannot be saved. We've lost them. Oh no! <laughs> Her butt is dead. 
Lord. Well, any of then, I guess, games... Can I, like, stick a uh, bar through the door handle or some shit to, to hold that door closed? Yeah, I mean, you've got... I would assume you got press digitation, right? Yeah. You just smear shit all over the front door. It's like, <laughs> no, bad. Well, I mean, I'm but trying to stop them from getting cool. out. Oh, you want to, oh, yeah, that's fair. Uh, oh. Yeah, you can... I mean, they are electronic doors. You press a panel to open, so... Uh, can I zap the panel with... Oh, mm. I'm going to zap the panel with shock and grasp. All right. Uh, the, the panel fries, sparks, and overloads. Uh, and you can no longer open this door. Well, what if Will's cool. character was in there? <laughs> That's not good RP. Fuck, Fuck his it. character. He's, Fuck he's in there. He's dead now. Shouldn't have been there. He's an idiot. Oh, no. I've floated off into space. <laughs> Oops. Did I not draw a wall there? No. You true know it's a window. <laughs> Window, yeah, but yeah. I can actually draw a wall on it. Hang on. <clears throat> oh, there's a dead end. Can I investigate his body? Did that work? Wrong way, foot direction. Can I, like, look at his body, study it? You can. With, like, I don't know, nature or something. That seems legit. Yeah, so you approach their body. Give me a nature roll. What can I glean from it? What do I see? What do my LFI see? Literally. Uh, yeah, nice. It is whip thin. Has sharp claws. Uh, as you open its mouth, it has uh, just really sharp teeth. Hmm. Um, what you do notice is it doesn't really have much of a stomach. Okay. Or what you'd recognize as a stomach. So it doesn't eat? Oh, the, wait. It could be related to the... Since it's called a demosling that we know somehow, maybe it's related to the demoths and they and it feeds off, like, brains or some shit. As is dog related to a moth. <laughs> okay. It's called, a dim, <laughs> it's called a demosling. It's written right there on the floor, Obo. You can see that now, yeah. That is canon. It does say dead demosling, yeah. Well, engraved onto the floor underneath of it. Surely it's written in abyssal, so it's just one of those things like slot and end. <laughs> Sorry? What do you mean? What? It's Explain written in abyssal. <laughs> it, it's primordial, like I think. Slot or end. <laughs> That's the name of the episode, <laughs> Slot or End. <laughs> So, like, you know, in, in Norwegian. Yeah. This is going. This in character. What? Well, yeah, this in character. Okay. In Norwegian. The, the fictional language the word... you've made up. Right, is that the, is that the language you speak with your imaginary friend? That's one of the, uh, that's one of the orc clans. There is a Norwegian orc clan. Okay. <laughs> and it uh, checks out. In Norwegian. <laughs> right, the word slut. S L U T mm -hmm. means end in common. Right? So maybe in Abyssal, Demothling just means big dog. <laughs> and it's a coincidence. I hate the way your brain works. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do I mean? No, no, I don't even know what does will mean. No, this sorry, is, I, 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 it's, it's amazing, logic, yeah. but I hate that I just cannot comprehend it, you know? <laughs> it's just like, what? It, it does require at least a, 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 a five-minute explanation a lot of the time, but you're, it's you're, always, always you're so, good. So left field, you're right field, yeah. <laughs> good. I, I mean, as soon as you said... Norwegian. I immediately knew what you were explaining. <laughs> yeah, but the initial sentence of it's like abyssal, it's slut or end. <laughs> yeah. What? You know, yeah, Norway is the abyss. We're all aware of this. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's just immediately what came to my mind. So. Yeah, you go yeah. on a fucking holiday, you step into a hole, and you end up in fucking Norway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the back rooms are with trees. 
<laughs> and everyone going slut. <laughs> this is the slut times. <laughs> slut times. All right. Yeah, so Lord. we found out this thing's a slut. Um, that's all we've gleaned from its body. Um, <clears throat> I'm sending fucking over to look down the uh, cameraman to look down the end. Is that a hole in the side of the ship? It is. Shit. Uh, this room, there was no oxygen when you walked in. It was silent. That's per. Okay. Oh, so no one heard my whole. Uh... Yeah, no. I just. <laughs> I no. I. I. I'm standing. I'm standing three feet away from you, watching your mouth moving for about two minutes, and I just decide it's probably not worth it and go back out the room. <laughs> no one heard over his shame. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just nod, like, okay, and then point my thumb back out the door. <laughs> um, guys, just a quick point. Uh, oh, yeah. There is I a slam broken... my helmet against servants. What? Oh, uh... <laughs> I lean my head down on top of this. What are you saying? <laughs> What's I, I going pull, on over I here? Pull, I pull the four of you into a little, little quadrant of... Head huddle. Uh, We're like a football, uh, American know, football yeah, team yeah. huddling. Oh, yeah. American Formation returns. Huddles, yeah. Formation returns. <laughs> Uh, there's a broken vent over there, uh, and a big chair we could put on it. I think we should cover the vent right away. That's a smart idea, kid. I like this guy. Yeah, it's not, not a bad idea. Let's do it. We do the thing. Can I go and have a gander at this dead body while they're doing that? Right. Yeah. I'm going to uh, sure, so you guys fry are... the lock and leave her <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> Jesus. You You're sicko. <laughs> All right. We approach the body. Uh-huh. Uh, this body is short and stout. Oh. As you peer into the visor, you move up the first layer. And is it like a reflection of me in the visor and I freak out a little bit? There is initially, yeah. <laughs> uh, absolutely. <laughs> you guys have all got your visors up so you can see each other's faces. Um, you've moved up the you know, the dark visor. Mm. So yeah, for a, bl- a brief second, you do see yourself reflected in the dead body's visor. Jesus. And you go, oh, oh. fuck, I'm an idiot, oh. lol, and <laughs> move it up. <laughs> At which point you see a dwarf. A dwarf? Inside of the, the, the space suit. Is he dead? Uh, Roman medicine check. Twenty-three. Yeah, you can see uh, that he is dead. He, he okay. is visibly a little bit decayed. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, sorry for bothering Giz. <laughs> I walk off. He doesn't hear it. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. I put my helmet against his. <laughs> <laughs> can I like push his body into space? All right, Peter. <laughs> you push it in a straight line. It. Hits the wall over here and rebounds back towards you. Oh God! I'm running! I'm running! <laughs> I'm running! Back. It's I'm running! Back. I'm running! <laughs> Shit! Uh, you boys notice a dead body now pinging around the room. Oh God! It's like the fucking DVD loading menu screen. <laughs> <laughs> Off it goes. Is he gonna hit a corner? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, and then it floats off into space. Excellent! You've just desecrated the body. Let's go. Poor dwarf. Woo! Right, should we keep going? Yeah. Uh, so we've been in these four doors. Let's uh, zoom down the corridor. Woo! <laughs> another day, another door. Oh! Oh, well, can... you know what to do. Oh, God. I have an idea if you don't want to do it. Yeah, go on, all my YouTube suggestions are disgusting. (laughs) (laughs) I like to hear. Hold on, I'll probably do a funny video. Don't hold on. Oh, here we go. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. This is on a 10 hour loop. Oh, God. 
definitely and sometimes may be good, so sometimes may be shit. Yeah. Yeah, so you walk into the room, um, and again, you all hear nothing. You just see a man on the screen moving his arm repeatedly at you. Uh, as if I knew just here, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe <laughs> shit. Just repeat every four seconds. <laughs> what is it saying? Half dead. These foul magics before me. Uh, I think it's saying <laughs> sometimes maybe good, sometimes <laughs> maybe shit. Ooh. With a with an accent that I can't quite. So play. he was a philosopher. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Mm. It's quite the great, the greatest um, summation of the philosophy of life I can think of. Beautiful, is this, really. Is this a philosopher from our past or our future? It rather reminds me of the Ling Lang. Yeah. The what? <laughs> Ling and Lang. Please yeah, explain famous. that to me, Zerfin. Ah, well. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is canon now, please continue. No, mate, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever are you talking about, future man? So, uh, have you ever spent much time with the monks? Uh, I could the say monks. I have. Uh, well, they're obsessed with with balance in in all things, and uh, so the the ling is the the good side. The well, good is a strong word that. The light side, that of creation, and uh, the the dark side is uh, that of destruction. You know, so order is restored. Really, it's because both are always present, and you have to accept them. Uh, in the same way, sometimes things are good, sometimes maybe shit. <laughs> I just had my forehead <laughs> pressed against yours, just staring at you with the most dead frog eyes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's what I gathered anyway. Yeah, that's oh, fucking mad. That well. is. Uh, yes, it is quite interesting, isn't it? You know, when we're off this spaceship, I'm gonna have a proper good chat with you because you seem quite intelligent. That's a big match. Be lovely. Yes. All right. Let's keep going. I pat him on the head. <laughs> I follow Frederick. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh god. <clears throat> uh, guys, what's up that way? The door. Bang's head. There's a door. It's locked. <laughs> My familiar can see it. Ah, uh, fair enough. Above the doors, Evan, you can see core written above it. Uh. That says core. <laughs> as, in, as in, like, an exclamation? Or? As in core blind well, because oh, that's oh, big. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, Fucking no, hell. Uh, no, not that kind of core. Uh, core with an E, as in the centre. Uh, but that's a bit confusing to me because I thought we were at a donut and donuts don't usually have cores. So. We found the donut. That's a bagel. It's a bagel. Yeah, oh, you sorry. You've never seen a jam donut? Yes. Uh, some kind of toroidal thing, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, big word. Toroidal, ah. Well, what do you think they do with the bagel hole? That is an there excellent is. question, Obo. From experience, sure. there is no hole in a bagel. I mean, there's no... There's, the hole is never... There's never a solid object there. Well, where's it go? It never existed in the first place. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. Bagel's fully formed with the hole. You've missed nothing, Jimmy. It's been existential bagel talk. <laughs> oh, my oh my god, it's like that film. I would say film. you've missed everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's missed the meaning of life. Yeah, true. Yeah, just, just small been, chats. I've never been more inspired by anything than fucking that speech. Uh, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit is the great, greatest uh, piece of philosophy ever committed to YouTube. It is rather It's big. up there. Can, can someone move Fenric so I can move with Fenric? Uh, sure, Fenric's over here now. Okay. Thank you. Cool, blimey. It's fucking weird over here. Yeah, we're in the what the, what the fuck is this? 
Right, you look around and you see uh, what you would assume to be advanced sarcophagi. Oh, scattered. Oh, oh my god, still at Rimworld. Well, this one's green. Quest green, some might say. <laughs> right. You approach the sarcophagus. Is there air in Vincenzo? this? Vincenzo. There is not. There's a big hole. Bro, there's a side. fucking huge hole. Well, I had to ask. That's a what? fair question. Hey, man, we have windows. There was air in space for an entire session, to be fair, before I got yeah, back on. So. Head, headbutt Zervin. Is there any writing on that sarcophagus over there? Let me have a little gander. What does it say, DM? It says, <laughs> as you look over at a I'm screen a next man, to it, Hank. status, a occupied, gamer. status, healthy. Oh. And uh, what's this one say? Sorry. This one. Over here. Status, unoccupied. And the one over here would say, status, occupied, health, unhealthy. Mm. Guys. I think there are there is a person in this one with the green light on. It says it's occupied. Does it look like Looking it moves? Oh, no, but you can see there is a visible hole here. With, well, the hole. I say hole. It's glass. You guys are aware of glass. It's see through. <laughs> you can look inside. I would like to. Uh, Will, what do they see inside? <gasps> oh my gosh! Uh, you see. A very large <laughs> spherical shape, um, with its, that, with its it, two eyes that are closed. It's um, Kirby. Oh, he's in a spacesuit. <laughs> As I've just been informed, that's handy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the visor up. So you see, you know, you see the sphere of his helmet, and you see a a, a face. Uh, the face of a creature that, if it was not in its, you know, if it, wait, hang on a minute, I have to clarify some things. Feel free. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, fuck it. Okay, right, retcon real quick, he's not in a spacesuit. Jesus. <laughs> no, a roller, a roller coaster right now. Oh, okay, yep. Right, this is just going to be so much easier if I just fucking send a picture, actually. Look, you see this. Hang on, I can do this. Just Boom. asleep in there. Oh. Uh, I think we throw out the hole, the shit, hole on the side of the ship. <laughs> I reckon we'll just leave him in there, to be honest. Just yeah. Don't look like he's hurting anyone. Well, if we open it, it's just going to die, right? <clears throat> yeah. Maybe we should open it. Or and just kill this little creature. He could be as bad as them. What if he's, like, the last of his people? Yeah, what, what if he wakes up and he's, like, trapped in this box and he's just going to be stuck there forever? I think that'd be really sad. If he's the last of his people, then he can't breed, so uh, done for, innit? Not everything's about breeding, Vincenzo. I would like to add that you, you do not recognise the species. Oh. It is not of ginkgo, let's put it like that. I, <laughs> can I maybe try and like ascertain if he's like like actually breathing or not or if it's just like because like there's no air to breathe in there right there is no air in the room mm. you're in currently okay. um, I don't know how you would visibly ascertain if there's air inside of the sarcophagus no, to see if he's like actually breathing squint. like if his chest is heaving or whatever squint really uh, hard and see if I can see any oxygen <laughs> Incredible. I like look really closely. If I roll a natural twenty, can I ascertain if there's oxygen inside the pot? I take out you know I take out thirty magnifying yes. glasses and put one in front of you. Is that gonna be a perception <laughs> check? <laughs> yes, I'd like to have a perception check from everyone. If anyone hits a nat twenty, I'll answer that question. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I was like the nat twenty was like right next to the one I rolled. Yeah, same, same. 
No, I assume no one hit the nat 20. No. And I, I have advantage 21. because I'm familiar with oxygen as a concept. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? I've been, I, I've, I've, I've been breathing for like yeah, 160 day, years. Bro. I know what we're talking about. Yeah? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I knew I should have taken Tiny Hot. Oh. oh, wait. There was that dead dwarf. Does he look about the right size? Yeah. All right. I zip back. I'm going to go grab that fucking dwarf's armor. Unfortunately, they got pushed into space. Oh, they will yeah. push that body into the abyss. <laughs> oh. No worries, then. Uh, I've got an idea. Uh, I go out here. Uh, and I mage hand this closest dead body towards us. All right. Uh, hang on. Let me drink this one here. Yep. Yep, uh, and drag it through. Uh, you now have control of that dead body. Woo! Uh, let's stick him in this. It yeah, might but... be a bit oversized, but, you know, <clears throat> better than, you know, dead. Hang on. Right, I hold on. But... Check, please, Zerva. No, no, Connor, saving. Just give me an Arcana roll, fuck you. Arcana roll, yeah, sure. Uh, 20. Not natural. Okay, yeah, perfect control of the body. Continue. Hold on, but you know, to get him in the suit, we we still have to get him out of the pod, boys. Well, if we do it really fast... Yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure, if we do it fast enough, he won't fucking implode on himself or freeze to death in a nanosecond. <laughs> well, there must be a control panel somewhere. Right, so if we yes. get the control panel, we won't have to worry about the suit, but the suit business, we have to get him out the pod first to get him in the Apparently suit. you can survive in the vacuum of space for up to two minutes. Yep. So as long as we can How did you it. find that information, Obo? It's <laughs> 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 it it right here on this poster. <laughs> oh, it says on the inside of the suit, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, on that annoying little label at the back. Yeah, it has the donning instructions. Well, there's a rather <laughs> large hole in the side of this ship. We can't really do much about that. Mm. I can use mending. Yeah, there's yeah. there's instructions on the inside of the suit. Uh, it just says, to don outfit, and then it just says, quickly. <laughs> Tom, can is there only one hole? Is can it we... one hole? Um, there is a size. Is it? Yeah, it it is just Read one the hole. Spell. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a small tear, right? <laughs> no larger than one well, foot. Right, point it this way: to many things, that is small. Yeah, not to Obo. You of the universe, sure. If Borund had feet, they'd be bigger than that. One Borund mm. foot. What sentence? <laughs> Can we pick up the sarcophagus? Does it move? No, it's strapped to the wall. Can we remove the straps? <laughs> uh, when I say strapped, I mean fucking drilled in, welded in. It is a, a thorough part of the environment. Okay, Can I so... use flame blade to unweld it? There's, there's a Can hole in the wall. <laughs> there's a hole Can in I the wall. Unweld it! Can't... <laughs> While these guys are considering their actions, can I please go over to the the control panel and start? I'm fucking following Zervan. Yeah, fuck yeah, so open, open the fucking thing. We can't fix the hole in the wall, and we can't put air in the room, so let's just fucking open it. Look, he's going to die here either way. Well, not got... either way, but if we don't do anything, he is going to die. <laughs> is it so so to... How long has he been here before sake? we got and it? If we do something, he might die. Is so, anyone got create nothing. or destroy water? No. Just shove him in the suit like a fucking pillowcase. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if he's in the right way up. Just get him in. If we make some water, that could make like an orb. Of what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Ice. DM, please. <laughs> Is there anything in this Tell us the solution to this problem. <laughs> 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 How yeah. you? <laughs> you may speak primordial, Zervan, but yeah. have you used a computer before? Uh, no, I'm. I mean, I have, close I have to used an abacus uh, and 
All right, you know, so please explain to me I'm, what you're doing right now. Uh, I am staring at the contraption uh, <laughs> and staring at this the kind of buttons in front of me. Because I, I know buttons. I've seen buttons yeah. before. You, you can see the primordial alphabet laid out on, that, on those buttons. Yeah. So I, I kind of, I feel like I vaguely put, put together that the, a sequence of letters would, would form a word. That I, that I need to put words into this thing, but I'm not right. sure what words or how anything else is going to work. I just know that there are words that I can put in. Absolutely, there is. Uh, I try spelling the primordial for open. All right, you, the first button you press, the casket starts to open. Thanks, <laughs> Mark. Oh, someone get the fucking suit! Come on! I need, I need you all to roll initiative as well, please. Oh Jesus! Wait, eight. That's Nine. a n- non non natural one. <laughs> a non natural one, dear. There's a two minus one. Okay, hang on. Uh, minus initiative. Yeah, yeah, I'm slow. One. Yeah, I have minus one dexterity because I'm a large uh. fat man. I don't know what's going Dude, on Dude, right I feel that I'm on a personal control. level. Bro, this character's a self-insert, straight up. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> right, uh, call out what you got, boys. One! Tap, tap down. Thirteen. Nine. Twelve. Yep. Eight. Yep. Jim. Twelve. Twelve, thank you. Alright, uh, so... Top of the round. The weird monstrous creature. Hi. That's the character's voice. Hi. The weird monstrous creature. The pod opens, correct? Yeah, the pod is opening. Uh, Zerban has <laughs> pressed air when it opened. Uh, you see the pod open, and obviously the thing is there. Um, and it it sort of blinks its eyes open. Um, and upon immediately, you know, being greeted with oboe and all of you sort of looking down at it, it disappears oh. completely. It disappears. Just uh, cool, and then oh, appe- and then reappears <laughs> on top of oboe. The fuck! I fucking and told you to put it in going, the suit. <laughs> and it's sort of just going. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Get, it off me. Turn. Get it off me! Fucking uh, hell, is, maybe we okay. should have put it down. That is the end of him's turn. So the sarcophagus has opened and it has just blinked onto Oboe's helmet, I guess. Uh, you're physically touching Oboe right now, though, correct? Yeah, I'm on top of Oboe. I'm just Oboe. Sort of looking, looking around at everyone, just like... <laughs> the, the, what does Oboe hear, though? Because I would assume that the, the sound has passed through vibration, through into the suit. Um, well, let's add that I'm just uh, banging on the fucking visor as I do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Zervan, it is your turn. Um, uh, I I cast uh, levitate on him. <laughs> Perfect. Roll. What do I roll? I don't know. Who is rolls? levitate a? <laughs> I think he rolls. <laughs> what I roll? Is it, is it spell uh, saving on his part, or I think it's. Uh, I assume it uh, is. It's a con, con save. Yeah. Oh, All right. it's a con save. Con Get save. It. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls minus two. <laughs> uh, five with them. A... <laughs> okay, yeah, you had to roll fourteen or above. So <laughs> I have a minus <laughs> two to constitution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are now uh, fl- floating ten ten foot in the air. Uh, above Obo, you're not touching anything. You're uh, just in midair. He uh, he immediately just sort of calms down, and it's just kind of like, oh, hmm. hmm. Like, just now, just sort of blinking at you with its with its eyes, just like, hmm. You can't hear this. You, you can only see what's happening, and it is. Uh, just blinking. looking around at you all. Anything else in your turn, Zervan? Uh. I search my rucksack for food, which uh, sadly I don't have any. Uh, 
and then kind of slowly, carefully walk up to him. But not too close, just, you know, in a very relaxing way with my hand in the air, you know? <laughs> okay. Perfect. Uh, uh, it watch, watches you as you move around. I, I guess we can leave initiative now? Yeah. Yeah, that, thanks for that, Will. <laughs> I just I wanted to use the blink, and it said, it said at the start of an encounter, so I was like, fuck it, I want to use this. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, oh. You couldn't have just asked nicely for the DM to let you do it. <laughs> no, because I wanted to put <laughs> had to go through that whole fucking <laughs> performative <laughs> shit yeah, of us doing one. initiative. Okay, so oh, put them in initiative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I hit him with my death stick? Uh, well, as a person. <laughs> <laughs> I need a wee. Jimmy, okay, Jimmy, have you deleted who are you? I can't see him anywhere. No, who are you? Uh, who are you just has... Um... Oh, he's there, sorry. Yeah, he yeah for some reason... Can't blow it up in space. Pretty much, yeah. See you later. I think you've used a... Uh, you've used a picture of him, but it is just like... Completely transparent I did, PNG. I did, I did do that. I enjoyed doing that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good. Sorry, <laughs> That's not my chance. I took it. Okay. Uh, it was wonderful show you were somewhere. Him is currently uh, floating in space. He is. Uh, and it is. Let's assume. Can you describe what they see? Well, currently. What in the room? Uh, Jesus. Like, this creature <laughs> has barely been described. What can they see? Describe your character. Oh, well, everyone else fucker. can see, right? I was like, I thought yes. they asked describe what I can see. Like, what no, no, no. There, really, right? That's fine. Um, no, no. So, like, he's obviously, like the picture, he's, he's a pale blue, tiny person. He's like, mm, let's say he's four feet ish tall. He's a pale blue. Pale, bluey, white, you know? He's a smurf. White as fuck. But okay. It's very pale. Okay. Um, you can see that he's very gaunt, like his his skin is almost wrapped directly around his bones. Disgusting. Um, look, doesn't look very strong. He's wearing only a loincloth around his... <laughs> Which is um, floating upwards. Have yeah. you rolled for... Uh... Yeah, yeah, can we get a roll? I want to see... see uh... Let's get... Oh, I can't see play in this corner as well. Yeah. How effective <laughs> roll is this for, it, It's your hit dice, it's right? Hit dice, yeah. yeah. That's a two. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> uh, Boys, up crazy frogging it over here. I was about to fucking say <laughs> the same thing. Oh god! <laughs> okay, so you go um, yeah, you can see he's got kind of sharp teeth, and uh, he just kind of looks a bit feral, and it's just you know currently in the air, just kind of looking back at each of you at one at a time. With a kind of vacant, somewhat aggressive expression. I'll give him a friendly wave. Um, he tenderly waves back. Oh, oh tenderly. I, oh, oh, I so also give him he, a wave, seeing that he responds. He's visibly <laughs> unbothered by the vacuum. <laughs> he's not yes. panicking at all, no. Cool. Um, I pointed the suit and just now, sort of shrug. Uh, he, so he hisses at it. <laughs> Inaudible. You can't hear that. <laughs> yeah, I know. But oh, I'm yeah, still uh, gonna do it. I wanted to see his face sort of contort, I guess. Can I look at like the sleeves of my suit and see if there's any like buttons or anything? <laughs> on your suit? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you look down on your left wrist, yeah. there's a panel which flips up and there's like six buttons there. Oh, can I press them? Press them. Which one? The third one. Oh, fucking press the self-destruct one. <laughs> yeah, Vincenzo dies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, uh, Vincenzo's suit lights up. Uh, he's now projecting light straight ahead of him. In a... Oh, sweet. You can now see slightly further, which I did earlier. So everyone can see the map. Point, yeah, point, there you go. Point on my wrist, and then I'll press light the first button. Uh, all of a sudden, you can all hear Vincenzo's voices in your ear. Dude, I figured it out. <laughs> press press the first button on the suit. Uh, I yeah. press the same button. Yeah. Hey, Intercom. 
You're all broadcasting, yeah, let's go. Holy shit! I had a toilet epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, not, nice to talk. Is, is, it, is it push to talk, or...? Yeah, can I mute people? Yeah, you can't... <laughs> it is just push to talk, I'm afraid, boys. Okay. You can't mute. Oh. <laughs> I will remember that to hold it when I'm talking. Proximity? No, there's not proximity. Fuck you. <laughs> um, Stop blasting I'll... the Venga boys. Stop can running I... past blasting Venga boys. Can I take the helmet off the suit on the floor and just hand it to the creature? Oh, well, stop. Um, you can. What you can you take doing? the helmet off. But, I mean, it's not attached and you still need to have sound. Who like... is knocking? Uh, okay. What? What? I knocked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I think I got that muted. Um, okay, well, if he's not going to get in the suit, I'll be like, come on, make a come on gesture, tell him to get in the suit. <clears throat> uh, uh, he is still levitating, uh, so I just no, gen that. I just gently let him down. Very, very slowly. Oh, gently. actually, I cast... Wait, is he going to understand me? I'm going to choose to believe it. Uh, a creature which, with which I'm familiar. Sure, I've seen it. Um, yeah? I mean, uh, have I, I touched the ground yet? I, I leave this entirely up to Will. Have I touched the ground, Zervan? Yes. Yeah, you're on the uh, ground now. Uh, a bolts for the door. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I cast Sending, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. In, in his head, I say, wait, Ooh. we're your friends. We can't hear you, but if you get in the suit, we can talk. Yeah, that's 18 words. So he hears that in his mind and can reply if he wants to. Okay. Um, he just sort of, where are you? You're, you're here. Yeah. I'll point, um, point at the suit again. He's, 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 where is the suit? Is this the suit? This is the yeah, yeah, dead body. Right. Dead body. All right, he's gonna just he'll sort of sniff it. Just sniff it. Sniff You're in it space. In <laughs> <laughs> he's having a sniff. He's, well, this guy can breathe in space. You don't know what he can smell. <laughs> just the air. <laughs> Fair enough. Is air a pre? He can smell the mysteries smell of space. Yes. Uh, Footballs at least. Yeah. Because yeah. if you, there's no air, you, you yeah. die, so you can't smell anything. <laughs> Yeah, but if you not die in smell space... Well, maybe if there's particles floating around in the air and he doesn't need to breathe, maybe he could, yeah. Maybe he could smell. He can't. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to take the suit. I'm going to pick it up. And uh, I'm just... I'm going to... What the fuck is on the screen? Ah, it's terrifying. Amogus is appearing. <laughs> um, and take, I'll take it over here. And I'll throw it out the hole. I'm not in the room, but Rowan has got control. Feel free to get off me, please, Rowan. Uh, yes. Off it goes. It <clears throat> bounces into one dead body, sending the other one <laughs> careening through space. Bounces into a sarcophagus. Doesn't really do much to the momentum of a sarcophagus, but it does start spinning very slowly. <laughs> and then... Uh, off it goes into the blackness of the void. Inky uh, darkness. He just he just starts clapping <laughs> as you do, and then just runs back over to Vincenzo. I'll pre I'll point at the button. Be like, I'll press it and say hello. He nods. I'll point at the button again, and like he's not in. Oh, I'm not in a suit. I've thrown it out. Not in a suit. He's thrown the suit out oh, the window. I'm the suit out. I've thrown okay. it. It's gone. Uh, I'll point out the door and, and like make a beckoning gesture that like you want to follow us. Uh, he nods. Cool. We have achieved following something. Yeah. Well, there's there's like nothing else in here, right? Cameraman's going to have a look. 
Uh, actually, there was uh, another <laughs> sarcophagus. Um, actually. <laughs> um, actually, there was another sarcophagus, <laughs> and it's just said condition unstable. I don't know if we want to open that one as well. I mean, we've just took this guy out, and you, th and you want to open the one that says unstable? Yeah. Which one? Look at him. Hmm. Yeah, he's quite sweet, isn't he? I mean, we did hear the video. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, what the philosopher said. I don't know. I think this guy's got a, 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 a fun and whimsical nature about him. <laughs> I give him yeah, a little wave. I'm here for it. Uh, I go up to running, the fucking sprinting around. <laughs> he's got the zoomies. <laughs> I go up to the unstable one and press the O again. Is this where the unstable one is? Yeah, it is. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Barry! Um, hello! All right. Who are you? The creature starts to flail. Oh! Oh, God! Mm. Uh, give me the suit! Give me the suit! It grasps at its throat. Oh! <laughs> close it! Close it! Close it! Just drag it into the I don't know what close it is! Just see! See for close! <laughs> Wow. You press O for open, do the other one! I, I keep pressing O and then trying to find C. Drop him back in! Put, put your hand over his mouth! Put your hand I, over his mouth! I try <laughs> control shift delete, control shift escape. It stops it, it stops flailing. Do control Z! Control Z! <laughs> and it's dead. Oh for fuck's sake, Zervan. <laughs> oh bloody hell. What the fuck was that? Oh, Zervan just killed a thing. It's alright. I didn't oh, no, like, like wander oh, no, over. Boys. <laughs> oh god! I want to wander over and just pat him. It's like it's all right. Everyone does a kill on their first day here. Him is I really do see why the Malafarians just told me to come here and bring order. This is chaos. <laughs> oh, go <good> fucking <laughs> luck, mate. I'm gonna grab the dead thing by its neck and just throw it out the hole into space. <laughs> off it, off it goes. <laughs> it's summarily chucked into the sunset. <clears throat> Jesus. Not All much right, we can well. do about that one, boys, and I salute as he drips off. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Now so the uh, cold blood of murder's out of our way. Uh, yeah, now you're fully initiated, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I have heard of hazing before, but I didn't quite expect that. Yeah, I didn't expect you would do it off your own accord, actually. Well, I was just a bit curious, and I, I thought, well... If one of them was like that, then it kind of follows that probably the other one would be like him and be all right. Yeah, and it was an incredible scientific approach, and you've got your answer, so. <laughs> yes, I have found my my answer. You had your hypothesis, and the answer is it couldn't breathe. Yes. Now, let's uh, not dwell on that anymore. <laughs> no. Uh, thank you for the pep talk. It's all right, mate. Don't worry. You'll have plenty more murders to think about in the future. Oh, God. Oh, God. What did I just do? Yeah, Fenric never managed to have a shower, so he's still sort of caked in dried blood. He just gives him a, a hearty smile and a thumbs up. Uh, where is him going? <laughs> no, where uh... is he going? Grammar. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Right, yes. Where is he, him going? Oh, those were his pronouns. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> him has gone back into the sarcophagus room uh, and wrong. continued down oh. it. Yeah, he, him I is fucking the only spinning way around. We can go, isn't it? Oh, unless he knows how to open that door. I don't think he knows much, to be honest. Yeah, fair. I think I hear a distant thudding of him slamming his body into a door. Why don't, why don't you ask <laughs> feel it in your feet? Oh, that's too far. Fucking hell, it's a long corridor. 
Oh, my little legs are tired. A lot of dead ends. <laughs> do, do you want a lift? Cool. Oh, dead yes, end. please. <laughs> cool. I'm going to pick Zervan up and like put him on my back like a child. This is great. <laughs> oh, there's a green button. Just uh, duck and down when we go through doorway. All right. There's a door. <laughs> There's a door. Oh boy. Can I just ask, by the way, Jim? It's Bagel mm -hmm. in bad days. Well, hey. <laughs> you appear to just be in space right now. It's alright. He's gone. Oh, another door. Oh, there, there is a. Okay, I, I thought that this grey was um, continuing on it, concrete. Like, general debris. Oh my god, okay. long restrooms. Oh my god, no way! That is a really good idea. I am knackered. These rooms have air in. They do. Oh fuck, what's this? Swimming pool! Ying, oh ying, shit! Ying. Dead body. We There's a fucking that. spa here, boys! Oh yeah. Can we just uh, well, as, here? You, as you guys enter the swimming pool room, there is in fact oxygen in there. Oh. Uh, Should we have a dip? Fenric, get in here! Oh my god, I stripped the fucking suit off immediately. I blush. Whew. Oh. <laughs> and as the door closes behind you, oxygen rushes into the room. I'm it's... immediately naked, and I throw myself in the pool. Beautiful. <clears throat> and I just float there, starfishing. in. Uh, <laughs> this pool at the bottom, uh, visibly a hell of a lot murkier. Mm. Nah, the, this, this top pool yeah, much this much top clearer. One. <laughs> top one filtered. Yeah, there's a dead body next to that one. I'm gonna end the clean one. <sighs> ah. All right. Well, this is nice. Open helmet. Hello. Can I use New um friend? detect magic on the water to see if it's <laughs> yeah okay? Absolutely, detect magic. <laughs> it's and fine. It's, it's okay. not magical. <laughs> I don't. Not magical. But I mean, it's actually fine or not. I don't know. But it's not magical water. Can I use um detect botulism or whatever that thing is? Legionnaire's <laughs> disease. <laughs> <laughs> detect <Yeah>. dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, this room does have gravity as well. By the is way, is this that fucking Oregon Trail water? Oh, you're diving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it immediately kills you. Can I uh, try and do a sick flip into... Yeah, it's an athletics check. The... <laughs> With Zervan still on my back. <laughs> 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 no, I've put him down. Um, yeah. Athletics. How good uh, of a flip can 11. I do? 11. Eh. It's like a, a, a basic front flip. Okay. It's okay. Everyone's seen better. Oh, right. In GL. Gonna hang out then, I guess. <laughs> uh, and this feels like a good time to pause, actually, as everyone's yeah. entered the swimming pool room. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Um, you've acquired a weird little gremlin thing. Hello, mm -hmm. young man. Nah. Do you speak talk? common? Yes, I speak common. <clears throat> no. Nah. What are you doing here? I could have, what are you doing here? You woke me up. I was just, you know, chilling. Um, who are you all? It's funny you should say that. <laughs> you look weird. Start sniffing again. We are from, no, uh, we are from Ginkgo. Huh? Ginkgo, our planet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Speaking very clearly and loudly. I'm not deaf. I can understand you, you know. You don't have to speak so slowly. I'm Vincenzo, and these are my... Oh, uh, Fenric! Yeah. I'm Zervan. Zervan we just met also, but he seems like a good sort. <laughs> yeah, Zervan's my, my son. I love that boy. What about this skateboarding bird? Who are you? Ah... I see. <laughs> what's your name? Is it, mm? What's your name? Ah, uh, I. Him. 
Tim. Strong I man. told anyone's ever called me. Oh, do you like it? Ah, uh, I don't dislike it. Okay. Well, if, if that's what you want, we can call you that. You still haven't told me what you're doing here. Uh, we're on the... Well, Oboe, you, you can explain. You know more than I. Oh? Why are Which we one here? of you is Oboe? In the lowercase sense. Wait. <laughs> well, uh, we're here to find uh, what lies in the centre of the bagel. Mm. Do you know much about this bagel, Lim? Ah, uh, you you don't want to take this to this core. Oh well, I've, I've not really got a choice in that. Him, uh, the core is dangerous. Well, we need something dangerous. What for? To kill a worm. A worm? You could kill a worm with your foot. You haven't seen this worm in. I've seen many worms in my time. This one's, right. this fucking one's massive like worm. Uh, yeah, I've this had one's a few like, living me at one point. This one's like continent sized. How big of a continent? Uh, Australasia. Yeah, Australasia. Well, <laughs> fuck's that. So it, was the, <laughs> it was the first one that came to my mind as well. <laughs> I. It's I don't know what that is. Me medium-sized continent. We're not talking. It's where Australia medium. is. Oh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> bro. Even <laughs> from Inca, let alone fucking Earth. <laughs> he, he's a space character. He might be. He might be well-traveled. Knowledgeable about Earth. I could. Uh, okay, it might, it might be a bad idea, but I, I, I could help you take the core. That that'd be uh, that'd be very helpful. Yeah. In in return, you could uh, travel with us, and we'll take you. Uh, oh, uh, well, we'll take you somewhere uh, nicer than this. Um, you know normally, these, in return, you get a reward as a punishment. But I don't know. do you know about these critters? They're they're here. They seem to be pretty fucking scary. Oh, yes, I know about them. Mm. <clears throat> Care to uh, elaborate? Well, what do you want to know? What the fuck are they? Oh, they are Dimothlings. Holy shit, like the like Dimoths. Yes, yes, like Dimoths. They turn into them or something, or...? No, no, they are the servants of the Dimoths, you see. Oh, fuck. Are the Dimoths here? Yeah. They gather creatures for their, uh, their brain juices to make more... Oh, fuck, we should have brought the hats. Do we still have the hats? <laughs> nope. Okay. Yeah. Are the Dimoths here as well? Ah, uh, well, uh, I haven't seen any, but they could usually when the Dimothlings are around, the Dimoth isn't far behind. Fog. Uh, yeah, they, ki they killed the crew. Yes. I blew <clears throat> a hole in the side of the bagel and just went ham, you might say. Mm, mm, delicious. Mm. Uh, they're not to be trifled with, you see. I, oh, I was no, lucky, I... you see. I was, I was spared. I managed to hide away from them before they could get to me. Yes, yeah, so I got one hit KO'd uh, by them, which is pretty scary. Uh, yep, yeah, same. Oh, yeah, well, you, you shouldn't trifle with them, you see. You should hide. The best course of action whenever you see a demothling is to hide. Okay. Yes. I work in the kitchens, you see, so they didn't find me straight away. Oh, shit. We could use a cook. A what? A cook. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a cook. Thank you very much. I'm a <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, no, no, there's no shame here. But uh, I am a chef. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, a chef. Yeah. Apology. Mm. Well, so are you? You're, we you're after the core. Yeah, probably. So, sounds oh. valuable. I mean, I. I... I could get you in there, you know. Do you know a guy? I am the guy. <laughs> oh. I know a way in there. Cool. But, uh, it's, I warn you, it's, it's not a good idea. What, um... 
Sorry, that was Goblin. Why? <laughs> Why? Well, well, it's dangerous, you see. Yeah. You could die. Yeah. But, um, you know, you all seem like strong warriors. You know, maybe, maybe you could handle it. You know, you, you fought the moths before. You dealt with these kind before. Yes. Uh, how did that go? The Dimoths, we killed them. Most of them. Oh, very good, very good. Oh, maybe you'll be alright then. It was kind of a pain in the ass, but, you know, here we are. Might as well, you know. Well, uh, like I say, I can let you in there, but I can only advise against it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, uh... <laughs> Oh, you've now met him. <laughs> um, so I wanted to acknowledge his him. existence before we stop playing. Yeah, yeah, fair. And we will pause here, and in between sessions, the party can long rest as you uh, have a nice little pool episode in between. This yeah, episode yeah, yeah. Each episode. episode. Yeah, big chillin'. Uh, some fan art. Oh, Fenric has to have his um, <laughs> coming out of the water fucking Baywatch style in it. Oh, get, like, beautiful. Uh, yeah, fan art, ginkgo bastards, full party. Oh, yeah, I, if... I can draw everyone naked, sure. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Bam. Who are you as a child? Please don't. <laughs> He's like double his life expectancy as an old geezer. Mm, just, uh, I mean... Uh, yeah, no, yeah, right. He's so old he's reverted back to the mind of a child. No, it's just they don't. Does he have well. the body of a jellyfish where it just keeps going between old and young? <laughs> perpetually? Jesus. No, they just have quite a high child mortality rate. Um, oh. oh, okay. <laughs> so is he a child or is he old? So it's yeah, both. The, is it okay. the, the species average <laughs> life expectancy is one, but then. That is an actually, old ass baby. But if you make it yeah. past one, you live 200 years. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So he graduated from senior citizen to baby. <laughs> exactly. Oh, like the curious case of Benjamin Button. Mate, that case was so curious. <laughs> Some curious shit, dog. <laughs> Right. Thanks, Tom. That was fun. This is Thanks, descending. Tom. Yeah, this is that descending. Was, that was a fucking ball of session. That was great. <laughs> that was, Had a great that was time. wonderful. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, Space we'll adventures add... are good. <laughs> I yeah, enjoyed causing problems. problems. Yeah, will man. What the fuck? <laughs> Slut to what end? That's the name of the video. I enjoyed the yeah. the fucking twenty minute debate on opening the pod. I loved it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Knowing if you opened it, I would be perfectly fine. Just stuff them in the fucking suit and then that led to the mortality of the next boy I was going to zap it like I did with the door and just see what happened why is crazy frog here no <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't find and replace me him <laughs> him is back him yeah, is it's, back it's a startling resemblance <laughs> It wasn't intentional, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, TY boys. Thank you very yeah. much, laddie. Yeah, what you. a very good one. No worries. Good to have